live. We're live. <laughs> We're live. <laughs> Let's do it live. Uh, that was a slow countdown. We're live. <laughs> Welcome. We're back. It's the crew of the Dragonfly. We're rolling deep. We got a deep roster tonight. There's so many of us. I'm so excited. We're having great conversations. Uh, jokes are like flying around left and right. And so I was like, oh, we better turn the stream on. But now everybody's yeah. lost their train of thought. We can all like sit <laughs> awkwardly for a minute and just look at each other if you want. I mean, that works. Is this the most people we've had in like over a month, I think? Since that maybe? first yeah. week, maybe? Yeah. We're, we, I think we had one other episode with five or two other episodes with five. I think we've mostly been around like the four person mark. Um, and yeah, we, I, we were like talking about it before, but the dragonfly is getting full. It's a full little ship hurtling through space. We're officially up to 10 people, one robot, uh, one talking plant, and uh, that's pretty much it. But that's enough. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough. One of those people being a poisonous frog, though, right? Yeah, one of them is the poisonous frog, Sharp Jumper, who got brought mm -hmm. on to the Wait, ship. Wait, Sharp line. Jumper? I oh, thought it was Sharp Oh, this is all new jump. to me. I'm not caught no, up. I feel so yeah. bad. No, it's fine. I think everyone's saying shark jumper. I don't think he jumped shark. He's a sharp, a sharp jumper. Oh, no, I thought Reginald it was like he jumped the shark, shark, shark right? Jumper. Like he's. Oh, gosh. He's sharp jumper. We'll get there. We'll or get there. He's like a sharp oh, I thought it was he, jumps, he jumps very sharply. Yeah. He's yeah. decked out uh, yeah. in the best clothes when he's able to find them. He's popping <laughs> collars. He's Heart jumping. Yeah. <laughs> Funny enough, Wiggler and I were just talking about like whether we should have a jump the shark episode of Dragonfly or if it's just too soon. And I said, dude, that was like two two episodes ago. Yeah. We, we missed the boat. Yeah. We that missed shark the boat. jumped us, actually. That shark did jump <laughs> you. <laughs> um, our friend Jess Sterling has been going back and watching, and she just hit that episode. That was like the three person episode, right? Of like uh, Reggie and the prof or the. Ray, uh, I, I like totally the R names got me there and um, Lux on the island with the nightmare shark. And it just was so fun. <laughs> we had so they much rolled fun. Chris every time. Yeah. Yeah. Could <laughs> only crit. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You look like you're going to say a thing, Kurt. I have a serious question. Yeah. Is does the tail of the ship serve any actual function other than, well, it makes it look more like a dragonfly? Uh, mostly it just makes it look more like a dragonfly. There is the whole like body of the thing um, here. We could like look at like some imagery and stuff. Why don't I do one of these so folks can maybe see? Well, let's see how this works. Okay. Like is, I'm wondering, I, is it I bet there's a bunch of grapes in there from the Batman. Grapes just like stuffed into the end, you know? That's where I all of it has been put. put. I figured like Jake is always on the lookout for like new places to mm. stick things. Yeah. So to yeah. speak. Uh, so. I think that the tail of the ship, beyond making it look more like a dragonfly, also probably has something to do with the uh, space dynamics. Yeah, know, because there is there a... <laughs> dragon space. That's <laughs> you got it. You got it. I'll take it. Um, yeah, I feel like it's got to serve some kind of function. I'm sure that if we were to ask like Lux and Doc, they could explain it in great detail. But I'm not going to put Melissa on the spot right now. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> a pulsion, and, right? And, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I was going to say this is much as I guess. where all the dead bodies go after <laughs> all the crew it's keep dying one by one eventually gotta go so many of them they're gonna have to go somewhere <laughs> gotta go gotta put them somewhere um, none of our crewmates are dying old ben yeah. will live forever <laughs> old ben um we can hope we can hope Ooh, it's the cleric of hope it is all for aesthetics it is they're they're nice aesthetics too it's a very sharp looking ship uh sharp jumper or not like the dragonfly it looks good I lo we love it it's just uh, getting a little small for the needs of these 10 people, their talking plant, and their robot. Um, <laughs> it's a little tight. It's yeah. a little tight. Yeah. We're I'm a little bit crack. offended that the frog counts as a people, but Waffle doesn't. Is he a people? Am I, like, miscounting? I'm, like, I'm specifically classifying him and categorizing him, and we don't love labels on the dragonfly, so I apologize. We could just say <laughs> no, we really don't. 11 people in a talking plant. Is that even too much? Is it just 12 people now? Um, is he organic at all? I feel like people necessitate or being organic, right? Oh, Maybe? but I feel like but, but I feel like a, a waffle is definitely a person, right? Like there's personhood there. Yeah. Put more he's, like he's a construct, but yeah. You know. 
We yeah. know constructs who are aware identity, but mm -hmm. now we're going to philosophical discussion. Little discussions. like cheeky personality. Yeah. Come on. He definitely has personality, and I think that that's like the nail in the coffin of my argument that he's not a people. <laughs> that he's got personality. Yeah, he does. I mean, yeah. um, we know constructs who are definitely people, right? Um, and I know people who don't have personality. Exactly. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> I'm not naming anyone. I. I want to, but I, I'm restraining myself. <laughs> hey, is that oh. is that uh, is that Yana art? On the That's Yana art. Oh, indeed, that is the art of Yana. It's great. Um, from it our friend, me. yes, Sean Yanel. Yana has arrived uh, as a member of the Dragonfly. Most of us knew this was coming. All of us knew it was coming. Uh, here, let's look at Yana. Um, we're very excited. Oh no, I didn't put the Yana art on. I failed. Ooh. I'm a bad streamer. Man, man. I only cr created a Yana token. Yana. Amateur. Yeah, I, I know I'm bad. I, I put Yana token out there. I put Yana, uh, I had Sean adjust the banner. So Yana is in the opening banner now. Like Whoa. full on, it's awesome. Uh, but I didn't replace the picture on the character sheet. I failed. Um, well, I'll do better. Sorry, I pointed out because it was great, not because I, you know, meant to embarrass you like this. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Uh, I'm humiliated, but we'll move on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. So, everybody, it's Tuesday. It's mm -hmm. Dragonfly. I'm excited. We were not here last week. I had a bunch of, like, personal crises happening uh, and just got, like, tied up in a bunch of nonsense all day. So I'm delighted to, like, be back into space and ready to rock and roll. Uh, last time we were here, Kevin joined us. We picked up Yana. We picked up Sharp Jumper. We have two players here who are like, what's going on? They have no idea. Uh, we'll talk about all that in a minute. But everybody leveled up. Uh, so any of you guys who had to level up, is there any last things we should go over? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Some, many yeah, things. A dice. Many things. Yeah, yeah, mostly dice. Also, mostly there's dice. too many spells as a cleric. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I was going to say, I don't remember dice. what any spells that do. I, oh, look at all the third level spells. I just, I have two spell slots. I gotta pick some of them. This, oh. Uh, you could always fine. just not even put the third level ones on your sheet and just upcast one and two if you need. Uh, this true. <laughs> you know. Yeah. No, I got revivify. I got math sealing oh. word. So, uh, dispel magic. Oh, yeah. There's so uh, many do we have diamonds for revivify? That'd be excellent. I was just wondering. Uh, Unfortunately, the plant that was stolen only grows rubies, not diamonds. Yeah. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, so I shouldn't even. I shouldn't even prepare revivify now. There's no point. I don't have a diamond. Great. Glad, yeah. glad I could point that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. What's the other one? Gentle if repose. We, mm -hmm. As we learned in uh, yesterday's Firelight Tales campaign. You can closely swap in similar uh, material objects, uh, but it might impact the outcome of the spell. They had, oh my gosh, my cats Ooh. are going berserk. They had to cast uh, um, a tiny. <laughs> I love uh, when you can just see the curtain moving behind uh -huh. you. It's chaos. Curtain in the tail. <laughs> yep. Um, they had to cast a tiny hut, and they did not. Poor Eerie Taylor, like, got knocked unconscious hundreds of feet up in the sky and dropped her staff, which was her arcane focus. So now she can't cast any of her spells. And it's like, I need a glass bead. And they're like, we don't have a glass bead. But she has a robe of useful items. So she's, like, looking through the robe. But she's like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. And she throws a patch on the ground that it's ten bloodstones. And I'm like, they're not even, like, gemstones. They're just rocks, you know. They're pretty rocks. But, like, like. Um, so they created, like, a, a tiny bloodstone hut that was, like, horrific and red, like, emergency lighting while they were sleeping inside. But it worked out. I was pretty forgiving. The target, the target beacon of slumberhood. Mm -hmm. Like they're in Amsterdam or something? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. It was. Speaking of lighting, I am in a new room with different lighting. I'm trying to tweak camera settings. <laughs> but if I end up looking really washed out or really yellow or somehow both, I'm sorry. We'll fix it. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We will. We're not uh, that worried about it. It's You look great, and we're just delighted to have you here. The most important thing is the dulcet sound of your voice, so uh, <laughs> we're all good. I'm here. I'll just bring up the microphone closer. Yeah, please. 
ASMR. Oh, ASMR. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been like strongly encouraged to start the ASMR streams, but I feel like uh, that's yeah. a slippery slope and I'm afraid to go down it. Like, Rich, we can't even play D&D when we start streaming D&D. How are you going to? I know. You know? We're not going to have time for that. I know. Uh, we've been in like. Well, a... but Rich, you did the uh, the worm intro for Sabotage, right? That was so oh, good. Oh, yeah. Did you like that? Was that all right? Yes. Yeah. Yep, I fall. I've been falling asleep to that every night since you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a purple one. <Mike. laughs> <laughs> um, our friends at Sabotage, Kurt, like connected me to them like a couple of years back. You met Rob, right, when you were out playing D and D in a castle? Is that right, Kurt? Yeah, he's yes. wild and hilarious. He came for like our City of Mist game during their one year anniversary. But they're doing a bunch of these TPK fights. A few of us have been in them. Grace freaking killed the Demo Gorgon, uh, badass. Uh, Demo Gorgon. I know. Yeah. I wasn't gonna say. Anything. Uh, <laughs> we've all seen Stranger Things. So we all it's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. It's I fine. It's fine. Uh, don't make me talk about the cock. You're showing your age, uh, my friend. I know. Anyway, I did kill it. Got you did. Skin. You killed Last, it. Uh, oh, pretty yeah. much like single-handedly. I got killed uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. by an astral dreadnought. Um, and so a couple of our other friends have been over there TPKing stuff. Zed got, Zed got killed, too. So this is yep. like two uh, Yeah. They're hunting Yeah, for... you either like, yeah, you try take it down or you die. Or you die. <laughs> They're hunting <laughs> for the I filler I have to go now. Yeah. Yeah. I have to go and do it. And uh, play Dawn Strider and uh, try not to die. That's the goal. Oh my That's gosh, that would be actually pretty freaking fantastic. Um, I would love it. I went in actively trying to die, and our friend Melissa may have strongly encouraged the DM to hunt me down. So. <laughs> I, I did not dissuade him of that idea, but I also like he had it. I I didn't like tell Joe anything. I wasn't. Already. He knew you know what you were gonna say. Yeah, he knew what he had to do, and I wasn't actually trying to die. I just was trying to land seven attacks before I died, which I felt like was an inevitable <laughs> outcome. Um, anyway, it was a bunch of fun, but they had me do the voiceover for the Purple Worm um, promo that they had for their this week's TPK fight, and that was a lot of fun because I get to do a bunch of like different things. It was like, why am I not like a voice actor? How do I get that job? Uh, somebody out there, hire me. I'm available. Anyway, uh, level ups. What do we want level to do? Up. We just have to roll level dice. Up. We did yeah. them. Level up, level up, yeah. level up. Yeah, roll uh, die. Okay. Okay. I'm going to roll now. I'm just going to roll a hit die. Same. Right? Okay. That's same. what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's just uh, as good. You want, go works. First? you want me to go first? Do you go first? We should do it at the exact same time. Exact same time. Here we go. <coughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh, I had that. Oh, Not that's bad. pretty good. Oh, that's a five plus three out of a D six. Oh, I'll mine's bad. It. Mine's bad. I thought I rolled a six, but I actually rolled a three. Yeah, oh, no. that's uh, unfortunate. That's actually bad. Yeah, yeah. That was a bad <laughs> that's unfortunate. Literally the worst I could have done on on a first roll. But yeah, a yeah. We reroll ones. I let folks reroll their first two, so three is a really rough take. But um, I'm sorry. Um, oh, it'll fine. have to do for now. I've been there. Nancy's a lot. like, you don't need. Yeah, you don't need it. You don't need as much HP. That's so right. That's when Clancy's protecting you, uh, you don't need to worry about how hard you can get hit. Um, okay, cool. So you guys, Jake has got a couple of new spells. You figured out what you want. You're in pretty good shape, right? Uh, Grace has too many spells. Oh, I think uh, Rich or uh, Kurt, I can't hear you. You are muted. Oh, yeah. Jake doesn't have new spells. Jake's going to level up next time. Reggie, you've got new spells. I chat. will have new spells in in two minutes. Okay. In the chat, Kurt, you put you said the ranger known as Jake, which implies that Jake isn't even his real name, which is very interesting. Mm. That is actually oh. very uh, interesting. Spoilers. Rich, I don't know if you, sorry. This will bug you if you find out later, but you have Troy and I in the wrong windows. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh no! It's bugging oh, I me we were now. Switching up tonight. We're all just gonna Fix play. It. Fix it. That's a really good. Yeah. That's a really good idea. For it's me. bugging me now. Do you want me to just record from you the room you're in, Troy, and then you come over here? Yeah, <laughs> can you guys switch? I'll be right there. I play Jake today. <laughs> That's why I'm like messing everything up, man. I'm just like, wait a minute. Okay, let's do crazy stuff. Here we go. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah, look at this. I'm making the magic happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so earlier I was like, oh, it's weird that there's no, there's no professor art tonight. But actually there was no Jake art. Uh, like J J the art was behind Troy's picture. We're so, real human people. This unlike is how waffle. the sausage gets made. Whoa! Shots wow. fired. I, hey, hey, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Yeah.
he's, he's not a human. How about on this screen? He's not human, but neither are Am I? most of our players. That is true. My character is not human. He is Literally a none of us are playing human. Nobody is human. There are no humans on the dragonfly. The purple Santa Claus is the closest thing you guys have. Uh, I mean, like, good gosh. It's, it's a madhouse on this ship. Uh, and I think that given that hit points have been rolled and there is no bookkeeping left, right? Are we all good? You mm-hmm. guys feeling good? Yep. Then, I'll pick my second spell and oh, we'll be yeah. great. Then uh, I think that it is the dragonfly that we see as the camera opens and we see the small insect-like ship cutting through the void of space, the inky blackness in the back, the, the myriad of twinkling stars, the faint colors of each of them kind of driving across the hundreds of thousands of miles of, of space between them and you. Uh, and as we zoom down in onto this ship uh, with its kind of eye-like windshield in the front and uh, its multiple sets of wings kind of pumping along on the back, driving you away from the Aether Station where you have just acquired your two newest compatriots. The camera smashes through one of the portholes and we see the non-human crew of the Dragonfly. A strange purple man with his saliva-covered cat, uh, an an excited half-elf in the driver's seat. (laughs) Um, We we see Doc with our many tools and mechanisms, the person waffle made of metal flying nearby. Uh, There is a large potted plant that has not begun sprouting rubies yet, but might, uh, the professor, a gif, we might see as a hippopotamus. Don't call him a gif. He's a gif cue, and his suit is immaculate tweed, uh, Lovely. Jake, Doya, racing stripes on his arms. Uh, don't ask him to hustle. He'll get it done in his own time. Mm-hmm. Rhea, of course, uh, filling out pamphlets. What else would you be doing? Pamphlets are getting low. The Gasturius is like refreshing your quills for you. Like the, the, the reloaders, the arbalest reloaders of a crossbow team. Um, and of course, our newest associate, Yana. Uh, with their large ears and long blonde cascade of hair uh, as you're like standing here near the slimy green-skinned frog person who came with you (laughs) into this ship before you departed from the Aether Station as last we left our heroes. This is a long and rambling introduction. The lot of you stopped at the ruined dwarven fortress called the Aether Station run by a man called Occam the Builder a kind of black market smuggling port, not highly trafficked by the trade guilds and the merchant communities of the stars. And upon landing there, you were invited to visit Occam, the leader of this community, where you discovered many sentient peoples in fish tanks, in large glass containers where they were being kept and preserved and protected. And thus, uh, you decided that oppression was afoot and it was unacceptable. Chaos unfolded. Yana was freed. Occam fled. Uh, and as monsters broke free of their enclosures and uh, battle rolled through this chamber of many containers, uh, this green-skinned frog person a grung, they might be called, sharp jumper, escaped with you. And thus, as uh, (laughs) these new associates came running onto the ship for you, Professor, and you, Jake, uh, Lux just yelling, we gotta go, you guys, oh my god, we gotta get it, running to the front of the ship, throwing herself into the spelljammer helm. As the deck was closing on the back, you saw the onslaught of dwarves and humans and half-elves and halflings coming from Occam's complex at the Aether Station, racing after the dragonfly as you alighted off of the small dwarf fortress, vanishing into the stars. And so, yeah, as we pick up tonight, a lot of you are all on the ship with these newcomers having sort of like just loaded themselves on and you're fleeing this planet. Uh, that's not quite a planet. It's it's really small compared to the planets you've been to. Uh, making new friends again, are we? Some friends, some not. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I think Yana also looks at Sharp Jumper and is just... Of looking around at everything you just described and just like 
So is this where though, or about average for your previous crew that you may have hung out with? No, it's very strange. You know, I'd like to say that this is weirder, but unfortunately, about right from the places I've been. Well, that's quite a tale. I'm sure you have to tell. Mm, one day, one day. I like that tweed suit, though. Very nice suit. That's a lovely suit. Uh, Thank you very much. Um, uh, pleasure to meet you. My name is Reginald Frybottom. Uh, Professor Reginald Frybottom. Hello, and you are Professor? That's... Not Reggie. Don't call him Reggie. Uh, one can call me Reggie. It is okay. I just simply prefer to introduce myself with... It's a long story. Uh, uh, and you are... I'm a sharp jumper. I could, uh, I don't want to oppose, but I could use some clothes. Also, my skin is highly poisonous, so I'm not going to shake your hand. Don't touch the frog. Bow ties are cool. Everybody knows that. <laughs> right. Well, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's, where is this all taking place? In the cargo bag. Oh, yeah. Jake sticks his head out from around a crate. Yes, Professor? Uh, I, I just... I, th I thought perhaps you'd want, want to meet our new guests? And I yeah, think let's the say Professor guests. looks over at, at uh, Yana and Doc and tries to get a sense of what this is. They were trapped in a cage. We got them out of the cage. Um, I don't know if they seem nice. We brought them Very here. Friendly. We didn't really think too much about it. Uh, you know, when someone's trapped, you let them out. That was kind we of as far don't. as we got. Yeah, we closed the door, but you are not trapped in here. You can leave anytime yeah. you want. But, but yeah, hopefully you'll stay I would, not I would right wait now. until we, like, land somewhere, though. Like, don't just... Unless yeah. you... You want it. Cho the choice is yours, you know, always. Nobody ever leaves. And Jake goes back behind the crate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds way more that's you know, a, menacing. Wooded, I yeah, say. I know. That's just they could leave. leave. They just don't want to yeah, leave. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. Because like we we all came and and we like each other and then we got Ben and and Ben likes us so, yeah. uh, yeah, he's free to. Ben, you're free to leave, right? You know that. Uh, at this point, I think you see this old kobold with this, like, white tuft of hair and these, like, red scales. He's got wings, and he's flying, like, two feet off the ground. And I think he comes, like, flying down from the hall of the cockpit, and he's like, I I'm sorry, I didn't hear you out there. I'm it's really, it's tough. I'm very old. If you wanted to go, you know you could go, right? We're not, like, you're not trapped. Well, here. I don't want to go. Right? Are, hey, so you're do I have you to? Wanna, you want to be here. Okay, great. Yeah. This is been the most enriching experience of my life, and I'm very old. How old are you? Me? It fluctuates. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's really tough. It's hard to know exactly when our birthdays were, but I know sometime around when I was 11, we were, we were sent to the island of ghosts, and we had to undergo a harrowing experience, and that was at least 67 years ago. Island of ghosts? Well, that sounds fascinating. It was... Remarkable, to be honest with you, but uh, very harrowing, yeah. Was that on R Roroto? Was that... Was well, Cerulea, I mean, Roroto Cerulea, was sorry. the capital of our planet, but... Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Cerulea at large. You see, uh, there's a Sahagwin Empire that has come to rule and it's subjugated by people, the kobolds. I've heard that I've been pronouncing it wrong all these years. Imagine <laughs> that! You would know, though. You know, we'll defer to your expertise. Oh, they can be called whatever people. you want. Yeah. Also, we, that yeah, we do know that. Um, that's too bad. We're gonna have to wait for the Cobalt Revolution to go back to Ceridia, because otherwise we're kind of wanted there. I mean, like. that is true. We certainly do leave our mark in many places. Uh, it seems like the one we just left. We <laughs> appear to have done the same. I think Sharp Jumper is like, oh, you'll be pursued. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. So there were like many things trapped, and Have we only we managed to get. Yeah, I think you're flying <laughs> away now, right? <laughs> like I think we Sorry. see like Aether Station in the distance. Sorry, Doc. Out just one of the gotta, you know, I was just worried there for a second. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jake comes out and asks the two newcomers, "Do you need anything stored or stashed or hidden?" Or held on to. Jake is the best at putting things in and also taking things out. So whatever you need. Are, are those and Jake to, to, a to hell of a skill? Demonstrate. Jake lowers his head into his shell and comes back out. <laughs> <laughs> incredible. He does very, that very like with other stuff that he's not attached yeah, yeah, yeah. to. It's very yeah. impressive. Well, probably not anything put away. We probably do need something, as he definitely said he needed clothes. <laughs> do you guys have like a? I don't know, like goodwill situation here. You just have clothes you can take. We from? are. Full I would say we goodwill. demonstrate goodwill all the time. All yes, the by time. the very nature of bringing people aboard our ship and not casting them out alone into space. Don't right, forget fighting right. oppression. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the minor that revolution from this place to place. World. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Well, see, what I meant is like some sort of like area that you could go and you can have things people need. It could take clothes or. Or like uh, toys, if there's children, you know, that, that, that type of place. So, like, there's not that many of us. I don't know if you've noticed, like, this is it. We don't really, there's not like there's like, you know, a whole group of where we might not, like, we, we know each other. So, you just, I don't know. It is a very small ship. I occupy at least 5% of it. I think I think to like enunciate the point, like there's a tree with the giant root ball leaned up against <laughs> the corner of the cargo tent. <laughs> like a doc carried back for Lux, and I think Lux probably would yell from the cockpit, like, "You guys, don't forget to put the tree in the talking tree pot pot." I do it already, but I'm flying. Have we not talked to the tree yet? No, we've not talked to the tree. Oh, uh, we're here, we're here talking. currently talking to the. Ones that do talk at the moment. Yeah, the, the um, people here. I don't. I, I don't know if we have extra. Clo- I don't know if there's clothes back there, but I'm sure we could. You know, we could get you some sharp jumper. Um, and yeah, Yana, you need anything? You just let us. You just I'd let Jake know, and I'm sure you know. I'm happy to. I'm you know. Good at hiding things, not necessarily finding them again. I have a set of common clothes. I'll just I can just give them to. I thought you were jumper. wearing those. No, I wear like best. I'm wear like full Clancy. <laughs> Ceremonial garb. Yeah. Leia yeah. <laughs> be investments, yo. It's basically yeah. a Clancy Mumu situation going on here, right? I love it. I love. It. All right, we need to get you a tall hat. <laughs> 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 Oh man, the least common. More like clothes. a jumper, you know, but it's like a belt, and then yeah. it's like get the yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you, uh... Jake, does have an extra set of dark traveling clothes that he would be happy to give to whoever needs them, because he tends not to really wear clothes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, can I just clarify how 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 big is our frog like friend here? <laughs> yeah, I cannot <laughs> wait for the frog to man. be in. <laughs> Yeah, it's very small. He's comparable in size to Ben. You know, he's very small. He's like three feet. Okay, tall. so he is. Oh yeah, like my a clothes are fewer. proper <laughs> child size, <laughs> okay. like human child yeah. size. Oh Both yeah, these yeah. options this are is excellent. Not like hold him in the hand, <laughs> palm of your hand. No, 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 no. He's a halfling size, like three foot tall, sixty five pound frog person. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Then I would not offer him my Jake sized traveling clothes. Perhaps some alterations could be made. Well, when I have purchased clothing in the past, it has not always fit me in the most proper way, uh, and I have learned a skill or two. Oh, yeah, I got some good tailoring in here going then. We could probably get like a shirt, do a little cutting down, maybe some trousers to hem up, I think get you dressed up real good. I think the badman like jumps into the cargo deck with like the purple knife, like, um, I'll cut it up. I can cut it real good. We need some cutting. I can do some cutting. So yeah, this is the bad man. It's gonna take a little <laughs> while to get used to like this whole thing. He's gonna say, "I'm the knight a lot," you know. I am. Did you say bad I am the knight. man or bad man? Well, we call him Nicholas. To be honest with you, sometimes he goes by that name too, Nicholas name. Oh. But 
Nicholas. That's not what I thought you said. It took me a moment. I thought you said something different. <laughs> so, yeah, but, he, I mean, when he introduced himself, he's the bad man. Like, the opposite of good. Huh. Yeah. Well, all right, then. Yeah, like... don't ask him about the good man. I'm the knight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think if you get some alone time with him, you'll find that he's quite intriguing fellow. And Here I you... thought the weirdest thing about him was throwing up that cat. Oh, it might oh. be. It <laughs> might be. It's not. No, it's very much. <laughs> uh... It's so minor once you know so much more about him. <clears throat> True. I think that he just starts like slowly walking backwards. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> and just like vanishes into the Where shadows. You just hear like. Where did he go? I am the knight. <laughs> well, that was quite impressive. I did wait. I, okay, I believe yeah. we, we should strongly consider, perhaps, over the entrance to the back of our ship, having Britain in some way, shape, or form, you get used to it. <laughs> because I find myself repeating that phrase over and over again. Yeah, you've been saying it in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like every night, you're like kind of mumbling it in your... You watch me while I sleep? No, it's but you're very tiny so loud. Ship. You're very loud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, I uh, thank you for informing me. No it's fine, like you know. Yeah, we all we all talk in our sleep. There's this, you know, there's things we. No, Jake say. doesn't. Jake doesn't talk in his sleep. <laughs> I do watch Jake sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure he's okay. Just to make. Yeah. Sure. What if he stops breathing? Right. You gotta. You gotta keep checking. That's true. Right. He could go down into that shell. And we'd well, have no idea. that's the. Problem. I can hold my breath for a long time, and that creates problems in my sleep. Yeah, I know. Remember, I woke you up that one night. It was like, "Are you okay?" And you were like, "Yeah, I'm fine." I'm that just is the thing. Yeah. yeah. Lux. Anyway, so though. where are we going? She's, she's a very <laughs> It sounds like we need to go buy some clothes or something. Is there a mall nearby? I think, I think we um, need to leave and then figure out how to get help everybody that's still trapped back there. Right? Uh, like, like clothes first, but then also like revolution second. Yeah, I think we there's, a there's, a couple of, there's a couple places that are close. We could go I think Old Ben low, is like, like um, I do have this map. Yeah. And he like yeah. hands it out to you guys again. Oh my goodness. Ben, what incredible work. Well, I didn't write it or anything like that, but I did bring an inordinate amount of paper documents that are old and very indecipherable. And, well, your uh, friend, Nick, and I, we've been working over in Asturias Not knows so much, like but, I mean, uh, I've got some names we figured out for a few of these places. What? Ah, uh, let me see. I mean, I one of them looks super cool, gotta say. Oh, wait, wait, which one? Spiral. Spiral. Looks like it's got so many moons. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. Did you did you say your name was Yana? Yeah, that's right. Yana, are you? Are, are we taking you to a particular place? Or are you just aboard for the ride? Well, Where are you from? Yeah, that's a funny story about that. So. Uh, I was hoping being here was the place I was trying to go to, but it seems not quite, because you all don't happen to know a place called Aglarond, right? Anything like that? Doesn't ring a bell? Never heard of it. No, yeah. I don't know her. Oh, you could check the orb. Well, hmm. that's a great idea. Oh, well, that's You ever fancy. seen an orb? Yanni, yeah, you ever seen an orb? Oh, it's a, a spherical thing that glows? Yes. This particular orb and what it might full do? Of, maybe no. Full of knowledge? Definitely don't or, have that. Love to see it. There's like though. just lots of orbs. This one's just a particular orb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, there's like a handful of them. Yeah. Yeah. Come check it out. Look for Agron. You just search. Yeah. Can, 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 I, can I try that? Sure. Uh, <laughs> sure. So, so you guys get the orb. And really um, what happens there? <laughs> yeah, you like hand it over to Yana and Yana, like you're holding like this spherical kind of crystalline orb in your hands. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Do, you, do they know how to use it? Uh, no, I don't think they. So I guess I don't know. Let's find out. I could do a roll. <laughs> Would that be an arcana check? Yeah, make an arcana check. Sure. 
Do it. Bumping into everything. Nope. Eight. <laughs> it's your little, like, your hold, they, like, hand it to you, like, okay, here you go, you know? And, like, people are, like, looking at you. You're kind of, like, turning around. There's no glyphs. There's no, like, markings or buttons. Uh, there's no indication how to, like, make this thing work. Uh, yeah, so Yana's, like... Interesting, interesting. Okay, this is great. This is fantastic. I have no idea how this works, and probably someone needs to instruct me on how to do so, because uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Uh, excuse me, sorry. I was eating some of my charcuterie. Would you like something? It's really oh, yes, delicious. that actually would be great. Food would be uh, amazing. Maybe. I've eaten the same thing for a few months now, over and over again. Same food. What? Right. What? What is that? Oh, they kept feeding us this, like, weird, gloppy, meat-like substance. I wasn't really too sure what exactly was in it. Didn't really want to ask. I think terrible. that's meat. It was bad. Could, could have been uh, Huiroto Sushi. I We attempted some of that. It was not good. Did you want a kelp cookie? I will absolutely take a kelp cookie. Uh, right, okay. Um, it might be a bit stale. I got them a few days ago now. Better than the meat slot. These orbs take a little bit of, of tinkering and work, but uh, I will do my best as best I can. Can I uh, take a look and look for Aglaron? <laughs> sure, go for uh, it. Where on earth could that be? Not on earth. Uh, so you, <laughs> take, <laughs> you take the, the question orb. Is, mm -hmm. The question is whether I search with a ag, uh, ag, or Aglaron with an O or an A. No. Well, with an A. <laughs> yeah. That is the question, isn't it? Um, so as you see the professor, like, take the orb and, like, begin focusing in on it, you see this light begin to, like, emit out of the inside of it, Yana. And, like, it, it's almost like these words, runes, glyphs moving. And suddenly, like, these images start, like, projecting up out of it in front of the professor as he's, like, holding it. And, like, they're kind of sorting through each other like a like a deck of cards almost right uh shuffling in on itself um professor why don't we have you make a history check uh with disadvantage I mean, well, I, can i I'll, uh, can i put a can i get with guidance of course you could yeah yeah and i think the professor like as he's narrating this is going through and just trying to describe to yana like uh one must first look through the large objects, then get in more in detail, and it takes a bit of getting used to. It helps to have your mind organized in some way. Oh, that uh, explains why I couldn't really use it. Uh, speaking of which, Train needs to learn how to click things. Come on. It's happening. Ooh, 16. 18 plus a, plus a guidance. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah, disadvantage. I'm sorry. I did say disadvantage, yes. Yeah. So 17. 17. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, is there, like, a conversation happening between the professor and Yana here as, like, they're looking? Like, are you giving them more than just the name of this place, I guess, Yana? That's my question. Um, as best as I can. Uh, okay. Just Sure. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, so it's hard to exactly pinpoint where. See, when I left it, I wasn't exactly there at the time that I originally showed up, so that was a bit difficult. And then I went into this area, this nexus -y type thing, there was a lot of glowing crystals, that sent me to this other place, which then sent me to another place, and I sort of, I ended up here. It's gotten really complicated, but I'm just trying to get back to the original place, which is sort of a, well, oh, how to describe it? Nothing like this, if that helps. <laughs> I think... Yeah, as you're like sorting professor and you're like, ah, go on, ah, go on, ah. like you're not finding any planets with that name. Um, and then you like you hit like a whole nother kind of subsector of the orb. Right. And you realize like this uh, collection of information that you've mostly been working through is like compartmentalized. And it's almost like locked into like what I would describe as like a diamond kind of like a uh, pattern. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and like, there's a whole separate like diamond that you then like begin like digging into and you're looking. And uh, yeah, I think that there's like a realization that you're getting out of this that 
this collection of like heavenly bodies and, and celestial bodies that you're kind of moving through these planets and stars and moons uh, where Roto, Malpieti Prime, the home one that you've come from, this Aether Station, all this stuff on Ben's map. Um, all of these are like places that you're finding in like this first kind of like data set. And they all seem to be like collected geographically. And there are other places that are beyond that are like compartmentalized into their own. Uh, let's call them crystal spheres uh, or, mm -hmm. or uh, like they're there. It's if it's out there, it's in yeah. like a whole nother part of existence. It's like beyond this. I. <clears throat> I'm not certain that you're aware of this, but I should tell you that if that is your home, you are very far away from it. <sighs> yeah, I was afraid of that. Been working a while to try and get back. It's not as easy as you would think, although I suppose metaphysical time travel and whatever so theory isn't ever. But uh if it would be you don't mind you mentioned having uh you know some sort of adventuring crew here helping the oppressed and sort of things like that uh happen to be a special uh, i could tag along for a while until we manage to find a way for me to get back to there it would be really delightful i have some skills there's some things i could do uh they saw it when we were breaking out of that place came in a little bit handy yeah yeah they're great you could stay Part of the whole thing is we got to update the orb anyway, so it could, you know, maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's actually really close. <laughs> maybe it's not as far as it looks. Who knows? It's certainly a possibility. I'd, I'd be shocked if that were the case. Uh, Wait, do you think I, it's moved? Is that what you're saying, Ray? Well, mate, I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, in a way, all heavenly bodies move, do they not? Yes. Oh, perhaps. Uh, Perhaps that's a not I'm, quite... I believe that that's accurate, actually. Yes, I mean, I've got a very limited understanding of uh, astronomical movements, but I think you're correct. Yeah, every day I'm moved by a, a heavenly body, and his name is Clancy. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this point... <laughs> 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 Every day. Well, that's a wrap, everyone. Yeah, we'll that's it. Uh, we'll uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think at this, this point, I think at this point Sharp Jumper has uh, like gone over by you, Jake, <laughs> and he's just like, uh, well, I, uh, I know they said there's some food. You don't, you don't happen to have any, any bugs. Do you? S sturges or, or worms? Rhea is going to move Rock just rubs. a bit closer to Jake and be prepared to cast Lesser Restoration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just like ready. <laughs> he was like, he, I didn't, he was asking that of Jake. Yeah, he's like talking. See, I thought he was talking to his professor, and then I see, and like while he's asking about like food, Troy slowly putting some. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no food. Sorry. He's definitely gone to you, Jake. He's like talking to you, you know, as the other the the, the other reptilian person here on the ship. Yep. Um, Jake directs him to wherever on the ship these stores of food are. Okay. I was really hoping Jake was going to be like, nope, no bugs, as, like, the bees, like, fly back into your shell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that, like, you, like, point back to where, like, the food stores are, and old Ben is like, come on, I'll bring you. I might even have a shirt that fits you. I brought a ridiculous amount of luggage. Uh, and so, like, Sharp Jumper is like, oh, okay. And, and so, like, they start heading for the back, and I think that, like, old Ben's about to pat him on the back, and he's like, no, no, don't touch me. I'm poisoned, you know. Jake, I completely trust your judgment every day all the time. You're going to let that guy just go rummage around the food? Like, if he touches the food, is all the food poison? Do we know? It's a good question. Should be. It is. It's a great question. Do we know? It's a great hmm. question. Make sure Ben touch it. Let Ben pick out the food, I yell, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, so they make their way to like the back and then like Ben is like getting food out for him and getting sharp jumper a little shirt and stuff. Uh, and, like gloves. Get him gloves. <laughs> oh. Gloves seem vital. That way he can shake our hands. <laughs> uh Doc, I, I do have one very important question uh to ask. Are we being pursued? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. We <laughs> should go. <laughs> And then come back, though, because I would, like, yeah. really want to kill this guy and free everything back there. We should go to um, Oria or uh, I don't know where my map went. Uh, the other one, the spiral Bird. one. Have oh. we been to Homeworld? It's where you guys took off from. That's Yvonne. <laughs> Rune uh. seems far. So, yeah. Homeworld. Should... Should, could maybe someone look in the orb and see which one would make more like what either of those places are and see which one we should go to can we can we uh, say I still had the orb open yeah and, absolutely. and use, uh, use, uh, use my orb roll yeah make a history check oh you already made a history check and you rolled a 17 yeah. I think you're able to like yeah backtrack a bit and like you start like pulling open things I think that what you're able to get pretty much straight up is that um, okay one moment um, so, uh, there's not a lot on Oria. I think that what you're finding is that, um, it was a crystalline planet. Uh, there were, there's mining operations located out of there, drawing a lot of like minerals and like crystalline deposits, resources. There was not any major civilizations marked or tracked there within the information on the orb. Um, the, the Cidium spiral, there is an enormous amount of information as you begin to like parse into it. And um, as you start like cutting into it, professor, you, uh, you hit like a point of like um, a series of catastrophic explosions, like rocked the planet uh, like somewhere near a thousand years ago. And the Decidium spiral is actually occurring because of the movement of that heavenly body as like through its revolutions, it's ripping itself apart. These are like huge sections of the planet that are like tearing off of the surface and pulling themselves in like this spiraling orbit around it. And uh, this series of explosions was due to um, the great assault of the library. Uh, there was like a unification of 23 different planets that had resistance fighters that organized to attack what was dubbed a central repository of knowledge that was stored on that place a thousand years ago. Uh, 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 you, uh, I believe you all can see for yourselves. So it doesn't seem like either of them are going to have a, a shop in the center. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the one with less information, the shopping scene is missing 67%. True. We got to update the orb. I'll say, like, here's the two things, right? One of them has, like, not any real information about, like, a catalog, like, civilization there. The other one had a great civilization there before this is lulled. So what either of those things means now, a thousand years out, is up to you guys, right? But, um, yeah. Yep. Our mission is to uncover new information, correct? Yeah. It's to, like, update... Well, that work, but right? is yeah. incorrect information not also the same as the lack of information? Also, if that place has a library, it seems like they have a ton of information. Also, library... No, it suggests... used to have a library. Had. Yes, um, had is very intense matters. Hmm. Well, if it comes to rewriting what someone else wrote, we're creating our own story. <laughs> Jake is right. <laughs> but I have no preference. Doc, where do you think we should go? I. Which ones? I think we should go to whichever one's closer. I want to go kill that Occam guy. <laughs> like that. Is... But isn't the plan to go like, 
like settle and then go back? I mean, we could just go back immediately if you want. No, I think we got to ditch him and like figure out how to. I think we're going to need a bit more firepower from everything I've experienced around that guy and the amount of people that he has in his area. Yes. I definitely want to take his head off that body. That would be really beneficial. But unfortunately, right. I don't think it's work. possible right now with the supplies we have and skills. I don't know. Waffle's pretty strong. <laughs> He's really strong, but we need to make a call, you guys. Which way am I going? I say we go to the closest one. I don't know which one that is. They look like pretty similar. Oh. Uh, uh. Yeah, right. which one do we think that... What's this guy's name? What was his name again? The guy which, who is going to chase us? Occam. Occam Razor. Which one do we think Occam thinks we're going to go to? And then he'll be like, <laughs> oh, they're going to go to that one. And so they, like, they'll, we'll, he'll go to the other one, but then he'll actually know that. And then so it's a whole switcheroo. So we should go right. to the one he thinks we're going to go to. We should go to the one he most medium suspects us to go to. Well, there's two, so it's so hard <laughs> to find the medium one. <laughs> Uh, I, but it's a good plan. I am very scared of the prospect of going to a place that's being torn asunder. However, there was a library there. I agree. And don't you think? Don't you? He thinks we're going to go to Oria because we're not going to go to the place that's blown up. So we we should go to the. But then should we go to the place? You know. I mean, going to the place that's in the process of breaking itself apart and throwing its pieces into space does seem like a pretty silly, stupid decision. Which means that we probably should do it. <laughs> also, because like if it's like being them. torn up, it might not be there if we wait and go to it next. Let's go there. Okay. To the spiral. Same right, course. It's gonna be another few sure. hours before we can jump. Oh sure. no, Jake's not sure. <laughs> Jake is not sure. <laughs> what are you gonna <laughs> say, Jake? <laughs> we have to give Jake a moment. <laughs> no. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure, Jake? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said sure three times. Yeah, but the way you said it, I know that you normally speak through That's but it also how I say everything. No. <laughs> okay, I'm you not, got it. I love it. I'm not reflective. I'm just slow. All right, is this uncertainty or just speech patterns? We it can't turns out that Jake is actually really impulsive. He just can't tell a thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I just can't communicate it until it sounds sensible. Or, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Lux sets course for the Dissidium spiral and begins the route. Um, you guys have quite a time before you're going to be anywhere. So anybody that does want a long rest or anything like that, like certainly there's an opportunity here if you guys want to rest, sleep, if there's anything else like going on as you're kind of just journeying. Uh, Yana's definitely going to sleep for a while after. Oh, yeah. They, they bring you to one of the cabins and you could see there's like a series of hammocks slug. Like they're at least the one thing that's nice about the dragonfly is it's quite tall. The inside of here, there are many tall people. And so there's a series of like hammocks hung above each other, bunks in the walls, the whole deal. Right. Um, so there's like a bed for you. They set a hammock up for you and they can get you situated. Yep. Excellent. Love a love a hammock. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, I think Sharp was, Jumper eats his fill of charcuterie and is like, I'm not as good as rot grubs, but also needs a nap. And so he'll like curl up somewhere and sleep. Aw. <laughs> don't, don't talk about grubs. Sorry. Should we put the plant in the bowl? Oh, yes. yes. On the way? Yeah. yeah. Let's talk to the plant. Oh, we're we're there. there. Were there any materials that came aboard along with the people, or was we it just? We got the out of people? there really. Other than some grapes. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. A bowl I gave of those grapes. To the bad man. Yeah. yeah. A bowl of red, green, and brown grapes, <laughs> and um, and a tree, a giant tree that Doc was carrying. This like a little trail of dirt leading <laughs> up the ramp. Yeah, the back. I helped yeah. Lux carry the stupid plant. Now I want to talk to it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so do you guys, are you guys taking short rests? The couple of you who are like banged up from last time or long rest rather or long. what? Yeah. yeah. 
So I think that the the group, if you're able to sleep, I think like Jake uh, Sharp Jumper has like a good deal of talking that he wants to like do with you. Um, he's like talks a little bit faster than you, but he's asking like, um, do you know any grungs? Just one. No. You mean me? <laughs> well, yes. All right. That's that's good. Uh, there were turtles where I came from. That's why I asked. Okay. Right. Good then. <laughs> I think it's like a lot of that, you know. Um, he's not a conversationalist. If you if you re, if you reround rewound to when he had approached Jake to converse, the reaction there would have been very telling about how that was going to play out. <laughs> yep, that's fair. Um, so you guys can rest. Everybody gets their hit points back. You get all your spells. You can rememorize. You can you can squeak whatever. You got to squeak around, adjust, change. <laughs> be, be nice to my plant, Taylor, in the chat. <laughs> um, okay. It's Lux yelling say, from the front. You, you got to do it yeah. in the Lux voice. You guys, be nice to my plant. <laughs> oh, no, are you Somewhere all sleeping? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Uh, uh, all right. Uh, uh. How dare I interrupt my favorite character, uh, Lux as played by Rich. That's <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, no, a good, it's a good one. Um, no, I think at some point uh, over the course of the rest, uh, once they're ready and like rested, I do think that Reginald would uh, uh, attempt to just get a sense of Yana and what they can do, or at least what their specialty is in a combat situation. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if we want to play that out or just uh, get a get a sense there. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I think that there's like the, in, it's like the evening. Some of your friends still sleeping. Uh, like Jan is probably woken up, and you're like kind of sitting reading your book. And I think there's a moment that the two of you could like talk. Mm-hmm. Hello. <laughs> so you're um you know I'm actually not sure what you are. I've never been to a place that had people I... like you. I'm a wizard. I study spells and I use them in combat. Oh, uh, wizards! I know. I, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> uh, oh, you meant uh, my background. Yes, I am a gift queue. Uh, we are a noble and proud people who have shunned some of the barbarous nature of our gift ancestors. Hmm. Uh, you remind me of. A type that I'd known before, in a way. Uh, sort of aggressive people, very proud people. Sort of scaly, tall, big, uh, breathe fire. Complicated for a lot of them, but kind of have a touch of similarity. Are you are you comparing me to a dragon? Uh, dragon people, but uh, yes. You have those here. Uh, I can't say that I've ever seen one before, but yes, I've read about them in books. Hmm. Uh, might I ask if I could be so bold? What What is your ancestry? Oh, sure, yeah. Um, so, I'm a Verdan. Uh We're interesting people. Um, I don't... Apparently, <laughs> there's none of me around. Uh, that's why that guy Arkham wanted me, uh, which is sad. Uh we're very interesting people from where I come from. Uh, rather young, well, I guess for me not that much anymore, but uh, we kind of came up from underground on the, I guess, planet that we're from. There's this place there that our ancestors were and we don't remember any of it. We just sort of came into being one day, couldn't remember any of our past and a bunch of us came out from the underground and started new lives all over the country world we're sort of curious type we don't highly have a history of our own so we sort of explore which is in a way how i accidentally ended up here curiosity and all leads you to really interesting places not have a history of your own i uh, uh, that's uh, i i guess it does have an appeal if one's history is um 
not something one would want. Uh, you you did say that you uh, I might be useful in combat. I consider myself a bit of a tactician from time to time, and it would be, I think, worth our while for me to be aware of uh, what it is you do, your strengths, your weaknesses, those sorts of things, of course. Oh, sure. Um, well, uh, have you? do you guys have paladins around here? Um, I'm aware, yes. We, we haven't any on the ship, no. Well, I guess we do now. It's the closest thing that I probably can be classified as. Um, although I don't really... It's really weird. Uh, I don't really worship a deity of particular sort. I'm more just oh, convicted goodness. to a cause and stuff like that. <laughs> I was starting to get worried. I thought I was going to get outnumbered very quickly. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> makes up. Like from a bad dream, and then like goes back to sleep. Not a religious sort, I assume. I simply do not understand the appeal. Yes, I, I understand they have powers and other such things, but so do books. I do, I do think knowledge is a valuable thing. It's very important, and really, all these deities are just like everyone else. Some of them are great and worthy to look up to. Others are assholes and have bad breath. Suck. <laughs> yes. I think it's like right at this moment that as the pair of you are talking, uh, some of the rest of you sleeping or up kind of in this quiet time, like as, as Lux like quietly pilots you all ahead, um, you feel like, whoop, and the whole like ship lurches. I'd like uh, everybody to make a Whoa! dexterity check. As those of you like sleeping or staggered awake, you still get the benefits of your full rest. Those of you, like, sitting uh, are, like, rocked and heaved and thrown. Ooh, Rhea, you're thrown clean out of bed. Your bad dream has turned into a nightmare. Doc, psh, always on your feet. Uh, you catch yourself easily grabbing Waffle's tail as he braces you. Uh, Rin, uh, Yana, you're okay. As the seat, like, rolls back, you hang on. Uh, Jake, psh, ain't nothing gonna knock a turtle down. Professor, you're too big to fail. Um, and so I think that, like, Rhea is heaved out of the bed. Boo! <laughs> like, as the hammock, like, like, just, like, shifts and, like, you're dropped heavily onto the ground. Um, you take no damage, but the whole ship lurches and suddenly, like, whoa, you feel it stop. All of you, it's that, like, moment of, like, the forward momentum stopping and, like, like, not just the heave sideways, but you're all kind of thrown forward a bit, catching yourself. And um, I think we hear the, like, yell of Lux echo through the ship, like, we're not moving! Um, and then followed by a second voice, booming. Everyone on the ship hears it, wherever you are. Oh, no. Oh, no. It says, Hey, you guys! Could you get these stabby things off my back? Um, who is that? Yeah, did someone let somebody else on the ship? Uh, do we see anything outside the window? Do we see... You race to, like, a window and are, like, peering out and, like, there's, like, this kind of looming shadow, but you don't have an angle. There's, like, nothing out on the side of the ship, but you could see as you're, like, trying to, like, look back along the length of the tail, there's, like, something kind of, like, blotting out the light coming from behind the ship, the stars, the, the moons, all that kind of stuff. Jake goes to the top deck. I was okay. going to say, Doc is going right up there, too. Yeah. Rhea, you're going as well? Okay, Jake, yeah. Doc, Rhea, start, like, making for the top deck of the ship. Um, so as the, like, three of you throw open the hatch in the cargo bay, Rhea, you, like, pull yourself to your feet, like, racing back. You already see, like, Doc hustling up the ladder, Jake in front. Um, as the three of you emerge on the upper deck, there is a massive, titanic, colossal humanoid floating in the void of space behind the ship 
and he's holding the useless tail of the dragonfly in one massive hand that looks like it could crush the whole ship easily. He's got it like pinched between his two fingers, just kind of like holding it. His face like kind of like wrinkled and contorted. I think you see like moss growing over his shoulders and like moss and almost like vines growing down off of his head. And he's like, as like Ray and the Furball and Jake the Turtle and Doc the Change like come racing to the top deck. He's like, Oh, hey! Hi! You bumped hey. into my head! Really, really hurt! He's like rubbing his head a little bit. Uh, sorry. Do, do, I'm sorry to, to bother you. Do you think you guys could help me? What do you... What do you need help with? Oh, my back! There's there's things on my back. They're stabbing me. I just I can't reach them. Could you is, please come clean me off? Is he hold? He's holding the ship. Yeah, he's just like floating, kind Could, of like. Yeah, yeah. Could you let go and then we'll swing around? We'll check out your back. But you might us? leave me. Everybody leaves me out here. No. Please, oh, please. Oh, can you just move so that we can see your back? You, like, just, yeah, just you hold spin us around. Here, this way. Yeah. here. I think like this like massive hand like drops down next to the top deck of the ship. I'll just lift you up. Uh, I'm not going like, to hurt you, please. I promise you're my only hope. Jake can, climbs in the hand. Can can we breathe oh. if we move on? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> There is like this moment where you're like, how the fuck is this guy breathing? You know, <laughs> but as like you're looking, I think you guys see like, because he's at this mostly horizontal perspective, right? And his head and his shoulders are kind of massive enough. You can't see like straight down his back, but you see trees like growing up off of his shoulders. It looks like he's got like plants on his back, you know? And um, yeah. Your name. What is your name? Me? Yeah. It can be anything you want. That's true. Before you answer, it can be anything you want. Are you being oppressed? <laughs> I'm being Are oppressed by these things on my back. I just can't reach them. What is your name? Gomp. Gomp? Gomp. 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 Are you going to hurt? You're not going to hurt us, you said? I promise. I just inside need check. some help. I'd like to inside check the large human. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Meanwhile, uh, Professor uh, and Yana, as you guys are saying, yeah. you're hearing all of this guy talking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I, I wish I could say this was atypical, but this seems pretty par for the course. Yeah, it seems like the type whenever a groups like us are around. There was this other group that I had done. You know what? Another time, we should probably go check all this out, see what we could do. And Yana starts heading that way and then stops and just like, um, which way is that? I actually have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I shall show you. Uh, take the stairs. And, uh, yeah, Reg will head up to the uh, top of the ship. Yeah, they bring you back into, like, the cargo bay where you've been hanging out this whole time. <laughs> uh, and you see, like, there's, like, kind of, like, a, a, a like cargo area open, right? And there's, like, a ladder leading up. You come climbing up, and you guys see this, like, massive titanic uh, humanoid, right? Um, with this kind of mo mossy, like, growth on his head, his face kind of, like, wrinkled, his teeth yellowed. Uh, and he, as you come up, he's like, Oh, hey! Hey, there's a lot of you little fellas in there. I'm not the biggest one anymore. <laughs> oh, you're teeny. <laughs> he's like, he's uh, holding, he's holding Jake in one hand, and he's like, your friends said they might help me. There's something on my back. It's stabbing and biting at me. Well. Uh. That sounds awful. Yeah, I mean, it is. Well, anybody else want to come along? I think Jake's on the way. Uh, yeah. I think Doc does a twenty look to Rhea to be like, eh. yeah, like twenty three. Yeah, twenty three. So. Yeah, I mean, he seems, like, very simple. You remember, like, the children at home in your Furbog village, and you were like, you know, I think you're like, this poor little gump, 
You know, he probably yep. got kicked by a mega space horse when he was a baby Colossus um, or something. Like he's I feel like you know, that name was purposely chosen. <laughs> <laughs> He seems uh, pretty simple, you know. You it, like, <laughs> it seems very straightforward. Yeah, I'll join. I'll join Jake. Got to make sure Jake's okay. Yeah, I'll jump on. Okay, Yana, Professor, come in, mm-hmm. Professor. Oh yeah, Yana already went. Okay. Uh, when I, I would Jake... normally say uh, when that happens, I just rub up against a tree or something. But I, I don't think there's a tree big enough. Well, the only other option would be rubbing us against him, and that's probably a bad idea. I brought this tree with me when I came. I lost my pet and was trying to catch him, but he is really fast. And he, like, lifts up. He's got, like, a club that's, like, half the length of the dragonfly, you know? It's like holding a redwood tree in one hand, you know? Like, Guys, out of character, it's going to be so hard to get this guy to fit in the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you mean never bring I want to the same thing? It's so hard. I mean, like your funny rich boys, we got to bring them. Yeah, Rich is like, you keep bringing NPCs to your <laughs> and you lose it. I just have I them. I think I could fit him somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep, hop on. Yeah. Okay. You're yeah. going to get a few hop ons. So you guys uh, look- what's your pet look like? Oh, he's, he's really slimy and long. He's a giant space worm. I haven't seen him in like months. I, I, he was really slippery. He landed on my planet and got away, so I, I jumped after him. And You just jumped off your planet? That's right. See, now that is the type of jumper that one should aspire to be. No offense to our new friend. <laughs> is Sharp Jumper even here? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> 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 I think that uh, was just like, oh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate this. He's like lifting you up now, like, right? <laughs> like you're watching the deck of the dragonfly vanish away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jake. As, yeah. As we're being drawn back toward uh, his body, Jake takes out his longbow and starts uh, scanning for enemies on the back okay. of this creature. Okay. Um, he, like, lifts you up, like, like, right past his face. I think he probably pauses with you in front of his face, and he's like, I just want to say I really appreciate this. You don't know how many ships have just left me out here. This is really nice of you. Here you go. And he like <laughs> lifts you up and kind of just deposits you on his back, right shoulder. Well, this is extremely weird. And I saw that one guy throw up a cat earlier. <laughs> oh dear God. got some weird. It's very flexible. As he puts you. Onto the shoulder, and you see oh the God. layout of his back. You're like looking around. Uh. It's covered in like trees. There's dirt wedged in like the folds of his skin. He's a little bit like a pug back here. He's very wrinkly, and he's a little bit smelly. It's clear Gump has not bathed in some time, and amidst his folds. Oh. Head crevices. There is an embassment of dirt and trees and growths. There's like moss covering, but like pretty immediately. Um, can I, who's proficient in nature? I assume our nature mm. cleric is. I am. I don't <laughs> even, I'm not very smart. I don't have a great nature uh, stat, but I am. Um, I like. What is your nature? <laughs> plus two. Because mine is plus five, and I'm not proficient. Mine is just. <laughs> Mine's mm-hmm. just my proficiency Same. bonus. Game. It should be plus no, not three even. now, Grace. No, I'm negative one. And then, oh. and then right, right. I'm, I'm like, I was Ray is only not smart. Two. Ray is wise. Right. Yeah. So uh, anyone who's proficient in nature, you could make a nature check. I guess you could too, Docs, because you have a 20 intelligence. So I guess like anybody could at this, this point if I'm going to open it up. Um, no, no, no. Okay. 16. I think Doc, 
you're able to kind of ascertain pretty quickly, oh, he can breathe because like all these plants on his back are creating this oxygen that's like trapping itself in a bubble around him like your ship, right? The same way like your ship has enough gravitational mass to like hold an air bubble around it for you guys to stand on the back. Uh, this guy's poor personal hygiene has contributed to a small forest on his back that's allowing him to breathe. It's sort of a very smelly ecosystem. Yeah, that that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And he I think Raya would just... Oh. Oh. No, Raya was just going to ask all the trees and plants, like, you all right? Like, very little... <laughs> <laughs> you guys all right back here? Um, so he's like, put you down in the shoulder. There's a whole like bunch of trees kind of like down off the shoulder braid in front of you. Like most of what's out in front of you right here is, um, just like this moss kind of like covering the ground down his shoulder blade, like towards his ribs, you know? Um, so mm -hmm. like, yeah. I think Please talk there's all to sorts of unfortunate textures on this map. Like yeah. this guy needs yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dermatologist like you would not believe. I just realized this is a map. Okay, yep. Oh. Now, Troy's, <laughs> Troy's catching up. Troy's catching up. It's, it's oh, wow. Quite, it's it's quite the map, yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. Like, like, yeah. There's a central area that looks pretty problematic. Yeah. <laughs> Can we see that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, as you're like looking down, it's hard. The trees are blocking like most of your view down in the center, but you could see the like coloration of the moss shifts to like this blues and these purples. Yeah, we may need to ask our new friend if we're getting warmer or colder in regards to the pain he's feeling. <laughs> Can you hear us back here? Hmm. Yeah. You appear to have excellent hearing. We are right, well, we're right by the ear. ear. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Ray and Yon at the same time. It's like, well, it's right there. I mean, I'm not very smart, but you know, it's right there. And you can you can feel us. You know where we are on your back. Yeah, it tickles. Okay, great. Can you tell us if we're getting closer to it? Your feet are so small. It's in it, the middle where I can't reach. Boom. And I think his hand like slaps into the back of the shoulder. You're like, whoa. <laughs> As like he's starting to move, like muscles are flexing the ground under your feet, right? And he, you could see like he can't get to that spot in between his shoulder blades. He's like desperately grabbing at it. Like, oh, it's, uh, they're starting to stab and bite. It really hurts. Uh, 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 we 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 need to go. We need we we must go. Yes. Let's move forward. Yeah. Uh, go, yeah. Uh, rapidly. No. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's go. Check I, out. We just yeah. want to be moving forward. So you want us to move on the map or? Yeah. 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 Okay, so you're, like, moving kind of towards uh, the central back. I'm going to have you pause right where Reggie is, like, at that line, right? Um, yep. As you guys are, like, starting to move along, I think that he's just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it like he's like it tickles so much. And he starts, like, just, like, laughing. And I'm going to have all you guys make deck checks. Saves or checks? Yeah, saves. That's a better term. Yeah, let's make deck saving throws. Cool, cool. Are dex checks different than dex saves? They can be. Yeah. They can be. If they you're can be. In like, so you might have proficiency, mm -hmm. but oh, you don't as a paladin. Like, For me, they are not because I have oh. a zero. With the dexterity of zero. Of zero. <laughs> uh, so, Doc and Yana. Yeah. As as he starts like laughing, like <laughs> like the sound like reverberating through the emptiness of everything here. His shoulders like moving. The pair of you are like just kind of like thrown, heaved off your feet, and um, you fall to the ground, sliding uh, down here into the like trench of the spine, the, like, muscles of the shoulder blades literally creating, like, a ravine for you to, like, make your way back up towards. You, you've, like, slid down, like, at least, like, a kind of 20-foot pitch down into, like, this gully where his spine is. 
well, this is this is so weird. <laughs> Uh, there's all these like low growing like bushes and plants down here and stuff around you guys. Yeah, I'm sorry, can, Kevin. Go ahead. Can I see them in the trench or are they gone? No, no, you could see them. They've like slid down in front of you. They were like just kind of heaved to the ground and went like kind of tumbling past you. We've had to. I, f- I feel like we've had to make a lot of same. And like if this giant is going to be moving around, I'm. I think Ray's going to cast Bless to give some help for saving throws. In case mm-hmm. that's like happening during the fight, I can do it for th- three. I do it for four people. I'll cast it at third level. Who oh, has wow. the lowest decks? Uh, I've got zero. Okay, so for sure, Reggie and uh, Yana, Yana is two. Uh, Doc and Jake, what are yours? Got plus three. Um, I am plus three. 17 decks. Okay, so I'll, I'll do it for my. Can I bless myself? I think yeah. Mm-hmm. I can? Because mm-hmm. I have a plus one. And then. Treat uh, yourself. Between, I, between one of you, I, don't, I mean, I think Ray would do it for Jake. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think you got to go for Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's your uh, attack rolls and saving throws. You can add a d4. Please. And so I think that he's like yelling. Oh, it's go- only for a minute. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, okay. I think Too that he, he's like. Um, I'm really sorry about that. It's very ticklish. Um, try, can to, we... try to keep still. Can we see this mass of whatever right in front of us? Yeah, as you're yeah. down there now looking over towards that mass of whatever, you can totally see it. Um, um, yep. Y- Yana's going to like look at that and then reach behind themselves and do one that like, looks like they're reaching... Tr- to their own back with their arms and it's just like uh, uh, yeah that seems about a spot that would not be reached if i had to take a wild guess whatever it is is something dealing with that they look like barnacles yana they look like these bright like blue almost with like yellow kind of on them barnacles that are like growing in this space right and there's all these kind of like bushes and stuff around it but i think that it's probably been uh, about like 12 seconds maybe 18 since like raya has blessed you blessed you as you're like like, looking down that's the other side of the giant yeah (laughs) about how far away from where we are like is the map fairly accurate yes in terms of distance yeah they're about like 20 feet down uh it probably would be like better for me to put them there but yeah otherwise they're, like, they're kind of like as far down as they are away from you right well and i also mean like the uh the the black objects as well oh yeah yep i think uh, we found something down here but they're like down again also right they're like down this ravine it's hard the like yeah yeah, Vertical got it, got it, got it. Isn't as clear. Now that we're closer, is there any sort of check I can try to do to see if I would know what this is? I'm suspecting it's going to be gross. Yeah, make an arcana check, or make a nature check. Great. 23. 23. Uh, at the barnacles you're talking about, right? Yeah. Okay, as you're, like, peering down towards them, uh, looking them over... I think that you realize exactly what they are. They are called Crajans. And fortunately for you, they're baby ones. uh, Because the big ones are like true horrific nightmares in the void of space. They're a type of like sentient barnacle that often will like swarm ships um, the vast ones and they're like very aggressive and very dangerous and these are like it's a colony of like young ones uh, these like immature kind of Crajan that have just taken root on this guy and you know that like they're very aggressive like clearly they're like what's probably hurting him is they're like ripping into his flesh to like affix themselves here and so yeah they like form in like colonies like barnacles do and they're like horrifically dangerous um and like to like eat meat you know so yeah most like people in your like line of work like space travelers exterminate them wherever they are found okay this is 
is this only the two of them down there can see this or everyone can see no you guys can see him from up here on the ridge right and so i think doc is like looking down off the ridge at them uh does doc explain all this i assume yeah and she's real horrified and also kind of having flashbacks and uh yeah it's oh (laughs) reg reg is gonna cast flaming sphere right at the edge of the barnacles in a way that does not touch the skin of the giant. He is going to try and cauterize or or burn off some of these barnacles. Okay, fascinating. I think that I'm going to say, uh, let's have you guys all roll initiative right here. Great. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Troy heard that they're really aggressive and thought, great, let's... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean... My, my big question is, if they live in colonies and there are, like, they have to get there somehow, what... Where's the big one? Because yep. 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 that's a Rich, be, um, great question. As we're attacking the babies, never good. Ju- judicious about um, how long there is left on that um, bless. bless as you would like. Yeah, yep. I don't think when I when Ray cast, I don't think she would, like, she would have known that it's a minute, but it's fine. I hear you. I think you're probably gonna have at least like thirty seconds of it. You know what I mean? Like, I think they fell right. down. You cast it. They're, like, looking from down there. Um, yeah. Uh, it won't take my initiative, Rich. Ooh, that's very rude of it. Uh, you have been added. You can manually enter it. How very, very rude. Uh, okay. That's where you want to put your flaming sphere? That's the goal. Or whatever would actually be a cube. I mean, I could put it on one of them. Sorry. Yeah, no. That's Here. cool. Here. We'll, we'll go. I The goal was to protect the friends in the lower spot. So we'll go here. I don't know. I don't know what the grid is, but. Uh, here. I'm going to give you one of those. Great. Done. I will delete my box. No problem. I'm going to. And I will up. also drop it in the chat. Yes. Sorry. Reg, Reg is very protective. No problem. You drop this flaming sphere as it lands on the barnacles themselves, kind of like burning. Uh, any creature that ends its turn within five feet must make a dexterity saving throw. So we'll give these guys dex saves right here, right off the rip. Uh, one of them not in range at all. So the last one made it, right? Uh, let's see here. We are, what, DC? Wow, that's teeny tiny text. I don't know why I can't read that right now. DC 16. So, yes, one of them made it. Uh, the others take, uh, we're at second level uh, cast. 10 points. 10 fire. fire! Damage. You Damage. got it. Um, so like it's at this point as the fire like hits them that you hear like this, like (laughs) cracking sound as like the barnacles kind of open at the top and these terrible sort of like tentacles, uh, emerge and start kind of like moving up out of them. And it's with that, that, uh, doc, you're up. What would you like to do? Gross. It's so gross. (laughs) Uh, gross. Feel free to like X card me if I'm getting a little too excited or vivid about the no. descriptions of the hard no. body barnacles. No. Yeah. No, okay. I would never. Uh, it, it, okay. Oh, nope. Taylor, yeah. Taylor might excuse <laughs> from the chat. <laughs> oh man, Taylor, we can give you the Coles notes later. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I think Doc is like as freaked out as Melissa is, right? So Doc is just gonna be like, oh no, and like shoots fire at it. <laughs> just like, please go, go away. Um, oh gosh, 12. 12 does not hit the fireball deflecting <laughs> off of like. You have a, you have a deep, you're happened. blessed. You're blessed. I'm not blessed. Oh, you're not. Oh. Blessed me. I should have blessed the one. Dortle instead. I know. I should have blessed not me, everybody else. Rough. Rough. Rubbed it in too. Oh, it's fine. She's like trying not to look at them, and so it's like. Mm, so she misses. Uh, and then Waffle is going to move over and try to whip one of them with his tail Mm because he's much braver than Doc is. 
13. That's a miss, unfortunately, as waffle comes like flying up and makes a waffle noise like, and uh, yeah, no dice. Turns out he's my little boy is not that much braver than I am. <laughs> That's my turn. Rip. Uh, okay, that is Doc. Rhea, you're up on 18. Uh, can I get down? Can I get right there? I can. Get it's like it's like a of bit of a ravine to get down there. So you could try to like climb down at like half yeah. speed and not have to like make a check, or you could try to get down there like quickly and like have to make a check, or maybe you fall. I'll make a check. Okay, athletics or acrobatics to try to like climb down there. Uh, no athletics. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I, no, I'm ble- no, it doesn't matter. I'm blessed, so I get. I don't you know. Go for it. Roll a d4. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's saving. It's a, a, yeah. It's not. A che- it's not a check. Oh, yeah, it is an ability. Yeah, it's, not, check. it's not guidance, right? It's the. It's the. Anti- Never a target oh. makes an attack roll saving throw. So it's, okay. this is not count. Uh oh not my that gosh! The get. bots coming in hard all of a sudden. Um. Okay. Oh, you should get those followers. <laughs> uh, okay, what happened? What I felt I, I took, I rolled on that one. What you happens? did. You fall as you like grab a hold of the edge and you start trying to climb. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm bop banning. Oh, yeah, I got it. Dude. I'm on it. Thank you, yeah. thank you, thank you. Uh, I forgot there. that I have like a team of mods and you guys. So you like <laughs> plummet, Raya. I think like you start climbing and um, all of a sudden you guys hear the voice. Of Gump, like, oh, it hurts! And he, like, moves a little bit. And Ray, you, like, heave. And, like, you just come loose. You come, like, right off the muscle, like, falling, like, boom! And you land hard, taking eight points of bludgeoning damage in the, like, ravine here. Those are new hit points anyway. Yes, um, <laughs> they sure are. They're all gratis. Yeah. Um, yep. Uh, but I'm down there? Yes. Uh, I will attack them with my trident. Okay. Uh, uh, and so you like step forward, punching out with the trident. One hand, I think Ray would have, would have had her shoot. Out. Okay. Ooh, ten. ten is going to be a miss. I'm less. You sure are. Go ahead. I think I need a four. Oh, Maybe. 14. Ooh. They're AC 15. Oh. <laughs> cruel. It uh... is cruel. I okay, am a uh, cruel uh, dungeon master. Clang! The like, ironically, the barnacles on the tip of like the trident to fish command, uh, the like the trident deflecting off of this thing shall to no avail. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, um, super successful turn, guys. It's not bad. At this point, Reginald, Jake, what's your passive perceptions? Not great, Bob. Uh, I think nine, maybe. Something like that. Nine. Um, Yeah. Okay. So behind you, the trees begin to move. I think we see the pair of you like looking down at the barnacles, the flaming sphere, your companions in the valley of uh, of Gump's spine. And you just like, oh, no. And we see the trees behind you, like one of them, like, like rising up. And we're realizing like it's this kind of mass almost of like tentacles with this yellow bloom in the middle. And there are thorns cascading the vines as they all sort of like pull back and like whoosh, and uh, it fires like a 30 foot cone of vines off of it it's going to go over Yana and Doc down here but Jake and the professor I need you guys to make dexterity saving for <laughs> my favorite je suis blessed let's see how that works oops here let's oh. do one oh. Oh, oh, no. oh yeah yeah so the, the dexterity save should be a dc of four of 13 i know it only says 10 uh it's written in the text the dex save dc 13 so the lot of you take four points of piercing damage as from behind you you're like back jake you're luckily uh your shell def- takes most of it but still like your arms the back of your head are kind of like filled with these long thorns uh you take four points of piercing damage now and because each of you failed your saving throw you get to take seven points of poison damage at the top of your turn oh great okay 
Perfect. Yeah, that's fantastic, right? That was those guys, at which point the Krajan go. Uh, so this one's going to move out of the way of the Flaming Sphere. It starts, like, shuffling uh, forward, like dragging itself almost a little bit with the tentacles. This one goes here. We're going to put him in the back with Waffle above him flying. Uh, this one can't get much further. All right, they go like this. They can move? You didn't say they could move. I uh, they've now na- you didn't know they could move. You're well, watching that was more towards Doc, yeah. <laughs> I know. You watch like these many tentacles kind of like emerge out of each one of this big, like cratered like barnacles, and a couple of them like push down off the ground and they like rip themselves up. They have a root almost like a tooth that's dripping poor Gump's blood. And I think that he yells as they move like Aah! as they start like shuffling forward like kind of moving around Rhea uh, towards you, Doc and Yana. So I think that, uh, where are my sheets? Got it. So here's going to be for Rhea and for Rhea. 17, 15. Uh, They both miss. Awesome. Your shield like catching their like slimy, disgusting tentacles as these two are like surging forward around you. Um, Yeah, this one attacks you, Doc. And this one's going to go for Rhea with advantage. Seven is a huge miss. 22 hits. Hits. No, on me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. you take four points of slashing damage, Rhea. The rest mm-hmm. of them all miss, and I need you to make a con save, DC 14. Yeah. Uh, I also have to make one for Bless. I did do a concentration check and failed. The Flaming Sphere oh, is gone. Oh, thank you for remembering that. I appreciate so, it. Succeed on the the, po- the DC 14 poison. And oh, okay, so I you took are damage not... damage in the 19 is to keep Bless up. Got it. You are not paralyzed. Bless stays up. You take four points of slashing damage. The rest of them miss. The thorn spray is gone. Yana, you're up on nine. Cool. Um, so first thing is bonus action. Uh, Yana is going to run their hand across their sword. And uh, it starts having lines of blue that crisscross across it as uh, they cast Divine Favor. Nice. And then uh, they're going to walk forward to attack this one right here, which I believe is also flanking advantage. Um, it sure is. You step forward. You're going to get flanking uh, with Ray. Uh, divine favor does what exactly? I'm going to. Um, so divine favor is uh, concentration, but um, essentially uh, until the spell ends, your weapon attacks you an extra 1d4 radiant damage on hits. Excellent. Dope. Um, cool. And then I will, uh, swing away. That's a 25. I don't use my bless. Yeah, the longsword, like, cleaving down into the shell. Sweet. Um, whoop, nope, that didn't do that. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing, sorry. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so that's seven for that. And then, plus. oh, plus the D4. Mm-hmm. So, nine. Nice. And then, yep. uh, with my second attack, I'm swinging again. Uh, do I want to, uh, I guess I clicked it. I'll just roll it again. It's fine. Yeah, go for it. That was an unintentional roll. We always get yep. the intentional dice, right? Uh, 17 still hits as you're flanking like so the sword wait. like crashes down the shell cracks a little bit 17 definitely hits wait um that is 10 plus another d4 uh, 11 so 20 total uh nice gotcha yep that's gonna be 10 11 total got it uh yeah as your sword like cleaves down in this one drops uh you like shat crack the shell with the first one crack and then you bring the sword up again like chop and the, the shell kind of like sprays all over the place as the blade like cleaves down into this mass of these tentacles on the inside and um they sort of like drop to the ground Yana, that was your action, bonus action movement. You good? 
Uh, I'm good, but they'll also turn to Reggie and be like, huh? Pa- Paladin. Tactical. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you must have a cool god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> conversation hey, for things like, like, Reg just, like, got spikes, like, poison spikes stuck in him, and so he's like, uh-huh! <laughs> Love it. Um, Reg, at the top of your turn, the poison surges into you. You feel the spikes, like... <laughs> Uh, like dumping into your back, you take seven points of poison damage, and you are up. Yes. Uh, do I get the sense these spikes will continue to hurt me? No. Uh, you you feel like almost like they were like a bee sting. Like each one just yeah. injected its venom, but this thing is behind you, like now, arriving what, what in this, this the trees. As you turn and look back, it's like a big. It looks almost like a flower blossom, uh, like a bit like an anemone. Um, like I even mean the flower, the anemone. But like it's all uh-huh. these thin kind of like tendrils. It's an anemone. Yeah. No question about. That. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, it's got these like thin kind of like tendrils that are covered in spikes and like you see it like rearing back to kind of throw these spikes back at you again so okay one more question Mm -hmm. the uh terrace terraces here uh Mm -hmm. do they appear to be texturally different in some way (laughs) yes as you're looking at the terraces like you're standing mostly on like this kind of moss uh that's Uh just grown over his back and as you're looking down into the terrace terraces there's much bigger plants in this whole area it's like um It's like you're in the space that he could reach easily and rip out like trees and shrubs. Got it. So there's moss, but down in there, there's like bushes and small trees starting to come up. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think I think at this point now, Reginald is just going to say, "We mustn't stay close together," (laughs) and run in the other direction. But only after uh, a range of 30 feet, um, I think he's going to, like, pull out his decoder wheel and say uh, nothing because he's already spoken. (laughs) Turn it and, like, instead of just, like, turning it, I think he, like, spins it, like, like, really quickly. And as he does, he flashes it out in Yana's direction. Uh, and casts haste on oh! Yana. <laughs> and uh, then Reg nopes the fuck out of there. I hate uh, it when Yana is hasted. This happened to me once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is great. It's very great. Welcome to the Dragonfly. So very glad great. to be here. I feel great. <laughs> and that's my turn, DM. Not since all those years ago, Yana, another time. You may as well have been a different person then. Have you (laughs) felt so agile so fast? Jake, Doya, you were up on five. You take seven points of poison damage as the thorns reject their venom into you. Uh, You're up. Uh, Jake is going to fire his longbow at the giant floating flower thing. Nice. Yeah, that hits. Um, for 11 piercing. Yeah, sick. Bees? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the bees. The bees! Bees? Question mark? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, the... As the arrow fires, a swarm of bees progressively spirals up towards the tip of the arrow so that the moment the arrow hits the flower thing, the bees then do, you know, plow into it, doing five points of piercing damage. Incredible. Not bad. I, I, I got stung by a bee last week. No joke. It's no joke getting stung by a bee. Oh, it yeah. I got hit yeah. by, like, a stack of yellow jackets last week. I was raking huh. a leaf pile, and I got a couple a of them stack. in the leg. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> was. It was like a stack, man. They came at me all like uh, vertical like that. It was terrible. <laughs> Shark jumpers in this. He's having a stack of, like a Pringle can. Of I mean, would love that. Yeah. It's like when you take the Oreos and you stack them on top of each yeah. other. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Because don't you eat yellow jackets in stacks? Uh, um, that's 16 points of damage, Jake. Uh, that's your first attack. You're only fourth level. You don't have a second attack. Bonus action. Anything else? Uh, that's it, you said? No. Okay. Uh, Jake, that was your turn. Doc, you're up on 20. I just remembered I have two attacks. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I think that oh. at this point we hear Gump like, Oh, what's going on back there? Oh. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> Doc is going to run over here uh, so that she's flanking with Yana. And... Uh, swing out her um, battle axe and she's going to say, hey, you did a cool thing. Check out my new cool thing. Uh, and I believe with a bonus action, am I right here? Yes, with a bonus action, she's going to cast Branding Smite. Oh! Uh, <laughs> well, that seems familiar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, you know, cool, cool new toys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And she is going to swing her battle axe. Let me click on things so that they show up in the chat. We learn what they do. Uh, there it is. Nice. Gleams with radiance. An extra 2d6 radiant damage. Uh, yeah, this is yeah. a good one. For up to a minute, right? So it'll count for both of these attacks. Uh, the next time you hit a creature just before the, next the spell hit. ends. Okay. Yeah, like it burns off once you hit it, but it'll stay up for like the minute to make sure you hit somebody. Gotcha. Great. Uh, so. Uh, oh, that's. Sorry. Yeah, there's that. Um, so you can get to click that again because all the dice get doubled, my friends. So that's like a double smite plus whatever the quarter staff does. Oh my gosh! Uh, so it's an extra two d six. Yeah, click oh, it again. I can just click it again. Yeah, I can just click it again. Yeah. Okay. And then the quarter staff should like do its own thinking. Right. Uh, oh, I hit the whole thing again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many things happening. I know, uh, you're like popping off. Yeah. Did I say quarterstaff? Why did I do quarterstaff? That's I don't not what know. I meant to do, but it's you fine. You can use your battle axe. Yeah, I figured it was the accidental misclick <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> okay. 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 Sorry, I'm completely lost track of all the damage. Okay. So that was, 50, on the first hit, it's... Uh, 27 damage is that right that is in fact correct and with that doc you like cleave into this like immature thing the like uh battle axe we could imagine that you used is like gleaming with this like radiant light and the shell just like crack like explodes as you like bisect this mass of tentacles inside they are destroyed uh with 27 points of damage in one hit you're good <laughs> okay Yana, great like, like looks back and was like oh very nice. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, was working on that in our downtime. It's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty fun. Uh, okay, so now I still have 20 feet of movement then. You sure uh, do, and your second attack. Yeah, exactly. Uh, can I get there? Yes. Oh, can I get there? Yes. Okay. Uh, and then I run over here mm -hmm. uh, and swing... Can I do battle axe this time that I like actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Roll okay. your battle axe. It's fine. Uh, 27. Hits. For 12 slashing damage. Ooh, crack! Uh, wow. The shell like cracking a bit. The seam running down the edge. You used your bonus action. So what's Waffle doing this turn? Does he like auto uh, dodge? Is that what's up? I believe he dodges. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I can double check that. But okay. I think it's no big deal. Uh, yeah, double check. That's your action, your bonus action. That's all your movement. Ray, you're up on 18. Yeah. You know what? I love this map. It's great. You never get to see the back of the operation guy. I know. It's, so it's true. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to uh, swing one hand. The other side the of the game. The dark side of the game. <laughs> 20 hits. 
<laughs> yeah, it's real gross back there. Yeah, so, it really uh, is. Yeah. Ooh, that's just four? <laughs> the dermatology Damage? spinoff game. Yep, got it. Oh, brutal. Um, I, I think I feel like that's it. I don't have much. Of, I mean, I could take out Chompers, but I don't think I need to. I think that's it. Okay, seems you lame, but sm- yeah. Stab down into this thing with the trident, like catching a couple of like the gross tentacles emerging out of the top, like yanking it back. Uh, Raya, that's your turn. That's it. Which brings us to fifteen, the horror tree here, um, and. Oh, Doc got closer. Okay. With that, Doc, uh, since you have become closer to this thing, it is going to lean down over the thing here, and it fires spikes, thorns down into the mass of all of you. So, Doc, Ray, a waffle, I need you guys all to make dexterity saving throws. Oh. This is an attack, correct? Not a spell. It's not a spell. Yeah, it can't be counterspell. It's sure, literally just, like, yeah. I'm not saying I have counterspell. I'm just yeah. I'm sure. It's good. You wouldn't want to tip your hand if you did. <laughs> uh, right, DM? Uh, okay. The difficulty is going to be 13 as thorns come hammering down into oh. the area, which means both these guys fail. They're immune to poison, so that's cool, though they do take a bunch of thorns. Um, what'd you guys roll? Oh, you both failed. Pretty I got, you got 12. Yeah. Wa- Waffle succeeded, yes. but uh, Doc failed. Okay, so Waffle takes six points of piercing damage. And both of you take 12 points of piercing damage uh, and will become poisoned at your next turn. Not literally the condition, but you will receive damage. Less is uh, still up. Cool. Good call. Uh, So it's 12 points of piercing damage for both of you. That's that thing. These guys go having just taken a bunch of damage as well it should be 19 uh this one is going to swing for you doc with its tentacles 21 uh no shield shield uh, the whole like metal shield extends up out of like your mechanism there blocking this one for Rhea 24 yeah Wow, I'm landing everything. Uh, Ray, I need a con save and another concentration check as I'm beating the hell out of you. The first one will be the con check and then the... Got it. So you are not paralyzed uh, and you maintain concentration on your bless. Uh, But you do take seven points of slashing damage as the thing whips you with its tentacles, which brings us to Yana on nine. Uh, so yeah, Yana's pretty annoyed at this thing that's shooting spikes, so, uh, gonna run straight for that, Mm -hmm. and, uh, start swinging. so here's where I have to be a jerk, you're down in the gully, you have to climb up out of here, so, uh, you could do it, but Mm -hmm. you could only, you probably need to, uh, make, go ahead and make an athletics check as you're climbing, let's see if you're able to get up out of here at speed. Sure. Uh, because also my speed is in fact also doubled. Oh, I totally because forgot. I am hasted. Yeah, you're so fast. Uh-huh. I even like put all the little marks. I got the little lightning bolt because you're so fast, and I totally forgot. Well, uh, I will do the athletics check just in case. Yeah. Okay, uh, Yana, yeah, you cool, easily are able to like <laughs> you're like climbing up the thing like a freaking you know Spider Man on meth. You get to the top, <laughs> you, you come like racing across. You're able to close in on the gross tree. Wait, uh, and I'm gonna start swinging. Yeah. Um, which I can do a few times at this point now. Yeah, you sure can. Uh, yeah. Uh, twenty three for the first hits. Um, and that will be. Seven plus ah, eight for the first. Got it. Swing again. 20. Hits. Oh, chop. Uh, you're, you're just like carving like these winding kind of like tentacle petals off of this thing for nine plus another D4. 
Nice. Uh, so yeah, that's thirteen. Yup. And then uh, once more with feeling because I am hasted. Sure are. Eighteen hits. Great. And uh, when this one connects, there's a sound like the clap of thunder as I cast uh, Divine Smite at level one. Um, okay. So, let's, oh, how do I? Okay, I think if I, I click think it's, this. Button. Yeah, it's added in your thing. You should be able to just like. Yeah. I think that should do it. Yep. Sick. Okay, great. So that's that plus the D4. There's only one, but so let's so 16, 16 on that one. Points of damage. That still is pretty solid, Yana. As uh, what did you just do? 15 and 13 is 28, and then another eight is 36 points of damage and like three attacks. You just like step up the sword, like flashing, glimmering with this golden light uh, from like your divine radiance, and like the tentacles are just like falling off left and right as you're carving away at this thing. Uh, Yana, that's your action. That's your turn. Is that it? Uh, yes. Um, wait. What do I? Oh, wait. Yeah, I think, I think that's my turn because I don't have anything to do for the bonus. Action I think so now. too, Professor. Yep. You're up on six. How is Raya looking? Mm, not great. Hmm. I have and eleven the, hit points left. The two things close to Raya have they taken much damage? I I wasn't able to track that. Because I was reloading roll twenty. Uh, Do I'm, I know? I'm sorry. A okay. little, a the little. Two, I think the two creatures next to Raya have they taken much damage? Yes. I I hit one. I don't yes, know the they've both taken good damage. You burned one with the flaming sphere. Like they're both pretty damaged. Yep. Okay. 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 Um. 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 Okay. Uh, we are going to do, okay, well, let's just keep it simple. We're going to do a magic missile. Uh, I think, uh, Reg is just going to like, uh, uh, look over at, at Yana and nod and smile and then, <laughs> uh, and then pull tight his, uh, his bow tie out of which four darts of magic missile appear. Uh, and he will cast magic missile at second level, sending two into each creature. Sick. Bow ties uh, are very cool. <laughs> what I said, isn't it? Uh, left, left two ties, right, uh, left two, and then right two. Okay. Uh, yeah. So nine and eight. Uh, the first one is shattered at your feet, Doc, as the magic missiles like hammer down into it. The second one for eight. Oh, yeah, same deal. Between like the thorns from the thorn spray followed by your magic missiles, both of them um, are like shattered, blasted down. Professor, that's your action. You have movement and a bonus action. Yes. Uh, he will uh, now seeing what appears to only be one threat. Um, he will move in closely in hopes of drawing its attention. Not quite in flanking, but yes. Got it. Jake, you're up on five. Yeah, I'm mute. Oh, you're muted, Kurt. Jake fires an arrow at the floating thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so funny? Because it was <laughs> like three times it. the speed Jake normally does. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of build up. There was a lot of build up. Um, oh, the bless. Nice. Bless and archery fighting style. Is the 13 hit? 13 does not hit. I'm sorry. Uh, the arrow like fires into this mass and like the tentacles are kind of like flailing around madly as Rin is closed in on it and knocks the arrow away. And Jake does move in close enough to flank. 
oh, nice, and you come, like, racing across the back. Uh, it's at this point that uh, at the top of this round, um, Gump is like, Aah! like, he rolls his shoulders. He just can't help it. I need you guys to make dexterity saving throws. Everybody except for Rhea and Doc, who are, like, down in the spinal trench. So you three, Yana, uh, Jake, and Professor. Thankfully, on, he does not have as much flexibility. Uh, oh, dexterity. Jake is so solid. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, Jake ain't going anywhere. Professor, boom, you're down. You're flat on your back as the ground just, like, heaves under your feet. Uh, oh, oh, the seven is still not going to help. Uh, Yana, you are <laughs> able to, like, keep your up. footing as, like, you, like, rolling on, like, the foot. I didn't know if I needed it or not. Yep. Good. Okay, great. Um, you're in good shape, Yana. Jake, you're in good shape. Professor with the dexterity of zero uh, falls flat on his back. Doc, you're good up work. on 20. Can I have you make a perception check? Yeah. I love that. Oh, what now? What Going now? like that. Oh, seven. I don't know. Could be anything. <laughs> I don't know. Seven. That's not good enough. Yeah, you're up. What do you want to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything looks Everything's fine. Normal. Everything's great. Everything's uh, great. All of these Just... barnacle thingies are dead, right? Yeah. Great. Ugh. Um, I think I'm going to move over next to Rhea. Mm -hmm. And, right, you're still hurt. You're still. Yep. Yep. Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to cast your wounds on Rhea. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Uh, at first level for six. Doc's a good friend. Yeah, should have yeah. blessed her. <laughs> <laughs> Your mistake won't happen again. Well, <laughs> Doc didn't get blessed. Doc didn't get hasted. We just, we just, yeah. It's what's fine. Up with Nobody Doc? wants to help Doc. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't need your help. She's gonna do it. Position <laughs> heal herself. Come on. But she built don't her you, own best don't friend. You have yeah. A 20 <laughs> <laughs> I do have a 20 intelligence. Oh, Don't oh, hate oh, on oh, my oh, dice rolling at the fine. beginning. Yeah, Clancy <laughs> blessed uh, Doc at the, you know, like the moment of creation there. Uh, so, Doc, you run, come running up. You heal Raya for six. Bonus action. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, and then Waffle is going to move. He flies. So, like, this. Yeah, he's cool. Matter, yeah. He's fine, right? Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, and he is going to try to hit something for once with his fancy new stance. Uh, get your uh, 24 in the chat. Come on. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, let's get the uh, <laughs> whistle for waffle, baby. For 24 six, hits at six oh, points of force six damage. Force damage. Nice. Uh, it, it's really much higher. It, you know, it's more of a. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I need to anyway, stop making turn. the waffle noises just so that we can like prompt Melissa more. Yeah, I, I have like enough work you... to do on this show. Um, I th no, you can't stop doing it. Okay, <laughs> okay, I won't. Just no more dolphins. Raya, can I have you make a perception check? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're up. Hey, um, I'd like to move. Me. Um, oh, I just want to get in um, sight of the thing in front, like, you know, the thing that everybody's surrounding. So, mm -hmm. do I so need if to... you want to go at half speed, you can, like, not even make a check. You could just get half your movement speed up the hill. Okay. And then I'd like to cast Guiding Bolt at it. Okay. Uh, you come like climbing up the like thing, like pulling yourself up out of the top, like standing and you're kind of like standing behind Yana. Uh, and yet you're able to kind of like lean around, like Psh, go for it. Yeah. 27 hits. 15 points of radiant nice. damage. Psh, and with that, Rhea, the radiant damage like blasts into this thing and it all is kind of like glowing as like the like the tentacles start like thrashing around madly. You see like the yellow center of it like like kind of vanish as it constricts in and uh, the tentacles just kind of all like wrap over itself and like it shudders for a minute. 
before it becomes inert. Uh, not as dramatic as many things, but it is defeated. That was your movement. Oh. That was your action. You got a bonus action? Anything else? No, I'm good. Okay. Wait, how Wait. How are... Um, uh, some people took damage at the beginning, right? How is everybody... like? Generally, how are the other folks doing? <laughs> Reggie's knocked down. <laughs> <laughs> no, did his best, but uh, no, he's okay. He's all right. Because I could do a mass healing word and give everybody a bunch of HP. <laughs> Save it. All right, I'll leave it. <laughs> Save it. Save it. Everything seems like it's gone. Everything I mean, seems fine, right? It <laughs> does. Yeah. We just don't seem that injured. Gone. But yeah, my, my thought right, process, yeah. Rhea, would do it at the end of the... Oh yeah, okay. No, oh, you're in to oh. you're totally good shape. Oh, yeah, uh, sure. and it's at this oh, point yeah, is like sure. all of you are like looking at this plant and you turn and look down at Doc who's like left alone down here standing on this bed, this kind of like bloody sore in the middle of poor Gump's back where all these barnacles had entrenched themselves. Oh. And it's at this point you see it just like sliding low through the brush and the trees of uh the the terrace terraces. A massive shambling mound of vines and plants that comes like rolling up from behind Doc and is going to slam. This attack is at advantage because it's attacking from stealth. Oops, it's on whisper mode. 20. Does that hit you, Doc? Uh, can I shield this? Yes, sure. Okay, then yeah, I'm going to do that while I'm here all by myself. Uh, okay, you like wheel around at the last possible second. You hear the like, <laughs> I think you probably are like looking up out of the ravine of old Gump's back valley and uh, at your friends, and you see their faces get like terrified as you like glance over your shoulder. And like just in time, you're able to like throw your hand back as this massive plant like <laughs> crashes into it. Uh, that was its attacks this turn. Yanni, you're up on nine. Sweet. Um, also, how... Rich, I love that. Like, we're just going to use things that like we run in our sessions now against us. Is that how this works? Just... <laughs> Great. I, mean, the, uh, man. I yep. definitely got yep. creative. <laughs> we'll talk about it at the end. But uh, yeah, shambling mans are great. Got to break them out there. They are great. They're fun. We're playing in a, a like metric f ton of D and D at an alarming rate. There is no way I can <laughs> have true. original monsters every single week. I need to reuse some stuff. Uh, <laughs> I know, but the like the time frame here is just suspicious. Is all I, I know. I know. That's uh -huh. suspicious. That's uh, weird. <laughs> yeah, the second time in a row, it feels like it happened. Um, how, how is Doc feeling, by the way, in terms of health? Like, not that bad. Uh, I, what did I... Oh, I didn't take that poison damage after the fact. Oh, my uh, mistake. You're correct. That was... I also didn't... Yep. And see, I put the dots four, I on think, you guys. I four, should know. I think four poison damage, I think. Yeah, it was four. Oh, so yes, I'm at 30 out of 46. So I don't know. What it was four. What to do with that? I'm okay. Um, and we could take the green dots off. Um. Okay. Uh, and where are you at, uh, Rhea? 13 to 42. 13 to 42. Great. Uh, then Yana will, um, pat, pat Rhea on the shoulder and be like, all right, I'll just be right back. Gotta go handle that. But as I pat you on the shoulder, I do lay on hands for, mm -hmm. uh, let's do 15. Nice. You got 15. I'm supposed to do the healing. Right. Gotta love a paladin. That's your main yeah. action. Mm hmm. Yep. So, uh, that's my movement. main action. Mm -hmm. I got my movement, so I'm just gonna bolt boop, 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 to get that flanking bonus. Um, because I have 60 movement, mm -hmm. which that should do that. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to sling twice because since I have two more actions, I can use that to attack and second attack. Yeah, you come like racing down the terrace terraces, uh, like darting in between the bushes and the trees, and you kind of like vault over the barnacle patch, like landing behind this thing with Doc on the other side. Go for it. Uh, right then, Doc. Um, swing. Been better. <laughs> Miss. The sword like cleaves uh, into the mass one moment, of plants. Please. <gasps> I am blessed, sir. You are? So just give me, yeah. <laughs> so that's a 14, but hopefully, let's see. Hits! Sweet. Okay, Ooh. so that would be 12 on the first hit. Mm-hmm. And then 
Uh, Wait, are sleep. you still blessed? Yeah. Okay. Right? Or I did I take any? Do I have to do a concept for the poison that I took? Technically, yes. Ooh. I think that's the only other time I would have taken damage. I do too. I thought the blast was still up. Got it. Just made it. Okay. Close. Sweet. Um, okay, so that was the first attack. Uh -huh. Going for the second. Twenty. <laughs> Sweet. Um, you know what's about to happen, right? Yeah, that's twelve. First, let's yeah. before you roll your smites, let's get all your divine favors out of the way. So you're gonna roll three d four, one for the first hit, and then double damage for the second hit. And then we'll okay. do your smite. Paladins, y'all. Uh, so one here, so that's a four. And then another one you said? 3d4, yeah, because this it gets okay. doubled on the second attack, right? Uh, No, it's still just uh, the 1d4 per attack. But you right, crit you it, double and all, all the dice, dice get crit. doubled. So uh, it gets doubled, right? So this is going to be 2d4 plus, right? Okay, cool. So uh, even one more still. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so that is uh, eight. That's ten on the uh the divine favor. Uh huh. And then so I have the this is ten twelve, but then I roll that again. Is what nope, you're saying, right? Nope. So check it out. Just to like track it here. Let's stop down. Roll twenty for a second. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. Yes. Yep, you got okay. it right. Like it auto doubled the dice on the long sword. We rolled two d four for the divine favor. Now you're gonna smite and double all those dice as well. Correct. Okay, great. So yeah, uh, there is a super loud clap as thunder echoes across this area as I'm casting divine smite at a level two. So that's which means 68. I roll six d eight. Wow. I can only roll up to five at a time, so I roll one more when it's done. Sure. 22 plus three is 25. Okay, just tracking here. That's 25 <laughs> and six is 31, and 10 is 41. 43 points of damage on the second attack alone. Cool. And I think that's that's <laughs> it. For my... That's a pretty good turn. <laughs> cool. cool. It is a good turn. Uh, that is a good turn. Gotta love that Nova damage. You gotta love the haste that let you actually like make yes. the attacks and like do the lay on hands in the same round. Yana, uh, quite an entrance. Professor, you're up on six. I think the professor, first and foremost, stands up using half his movement. Uh -huh. <laughs> Takes a free action to brush off the moss mm -hmm. and considers... Casting prestidigitation as his action to clean off his jacket. However, seeing uh, this situation, uh, I think he's quite concerned. So I think he he taps into what he's been trained to do as a gift cue, and he steps forward, and he shouts toward the shambling mound. I'll tell you. A limerick, you wanna hear about my new friend, Yana. They came on our ship. Now I'll kick you to shit. <laughs> and now you will ask for your mama. And I will cast Vicious Mockery. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, so I need a uh, blur, blur, wisdom saving throw from the shambling mound. Got it. <laughs> awesome. It has failed. Uh yeah, that's a fail. They take uh five points of psychic damage and their next attack is at disadvantage. Amazing. Amazing. Um this oh, poetry right there. I love that the professor like thinks it. that the sh shambling man has a mother, and then I want to like <laughs> mention a little shambling man family. Yeah, <laughs> I told the yo mama joke in combat. Um, professor, that was your action movement. Anything else? Yeah, I think I think that's as much as he's gonna do. Okay, Jake Doya, you're up on five. Uh, yes. Um, can I? From from Jake to the spot right to the left of Rhea is thirty feet. Can I move there, or is there? 
Oh, so Doc. Like, no, you can move there. Yeah, you can oh, run down. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. You're all good. Okay. You can run down through the terraces, like make it easier to get down into the trench because you can like kind of like grab and like use the bushes uh, and stuff. So, yeah. Then Jake is going to move past Rhea. Uh, he doesn't even know what it looks like. Imagine, Rhea. Imagine. <laughs> after all this time. You basically... <laughs> <laughs> Takes position next to Doc and swings his hammer at the Shambla. Hammer time. It is. Shamb, wow. Oh my gosh, these rolls. You have advantage because you're flanking. That's still a 13, which is a miss, but the bless is built into that roll. It's still a miss. Yeah. 13 sorry jake that's your movement that's your action bonus action anything else sorry jake uh i think we're good jake <laughs> jake <laughs> sorry <laughs> not sorry <laughs> that is indeed um doc the you're up. formerly known as jake <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh you're up doc uh doc is gonna swing her battle axe uh at this mound yeah. Fourteen. Um miss, He's a miss right? Mm-hmm. Okay. She's blessed. gonna do it again. You're not blessed, poor doc. <gasps> not blessed. Yeah. Hey! I told you, Doc does not need to be blessed. No. Doc uh, was blessed by Clancy in the beginning. Go for it. Seventeen points of damage. Yep. I almost cast Branding Smite and now I'm annoyed that I did not, but it's oh. fine. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's definitely okay. That's really good hit, Doc, as you, like, whoo, the first one, like, it kind of, like, slaps the, like, axe blade out of the way as you bring it around in this huge kind of, like, arcing swing, cleaving down in the mass of plant matter, uh, just, like, ripping vines and leaves out of the center of this thing. That's your action. That's bonus action. What do you got? Yeah. Uh, Waffle is going to fly over mm-hmm. so that he's opposite of... Jake, uh, sort of opposite. He's nope, very tiny. That totally works. As long as you draw a straight line through that cuts through like a box that the thing is in, you're in good shape. Yep. Great. Uh, and he is going to whip him for 27. Hell yeah. Hits. For seven force damage. Nice. What's that sound like? <laughs> it sounds like. Rah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, waffle, like, flying over, like, smashing down in, like, ripping kind of plant matter up off the top of it as it circles around to the other side. Raya, you're up on 18. Right. Like, I'm, I'm in the ravine. I'm out of the ravine. I'm going back in the ravine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I would like to make a check to try and jump back down. Um, that, can I do that? Sure. Yeah, you can. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you're easily able to kind of like grab at like the moss and the folds and slide yourself back down in, no problem. That's 30 feet of movement. I can do that, right? Because mm-hmm. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, then I'll attack with the trident one handed. <laughs> Yo, is this straight up 320s in a row that it. you guys just landed? Yeah. Unfreaking real. That's 11 points of piercing damage. Okay. Mm, how's it looking pretty terrible after this series of critical <laughs> hits that you guys just like landed hit after hit after hit like compared to how it looked like you know heartbeats ago it's not great it's just plant like falling off of it all over the place waffles got a piece in his little jaws like Rrr! uh yeah okay i'll uh i'll just that's it it's my turn it does go now um Gosh, tough choices. This plan is not a smart creature, so we're going to go odds is up, evens is down. It's odds. And so it slides up, uh, engulfing the pair of you. Uh, Gross. We get a tax of opportunity? It can only engulf one creature at a time. Okay, hold on. Yes, you two do get a tax of opportunity, yes. Also, there's no roll here, right? But that would, because it would be at disadvantage. I'm double checking. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, about it that it's a swarm. It doesn't even need to move, does it? I don't think so. But doesn't it have to slam first before it can engulf? Yeah, it does. Grab. Grab. 
grab, grab, engulf. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. You're right. This is why. Has it been I, taking? I, unless this is a though? special mound. It is a special mound. I have like modified Space it, but not dramatically. Uh, I'm like just in swarm mode where I want everything to like move into your space. <laughs> so no Has multi it... attacks. It wheels to the north, and it's actually going to pommel for a Rin for Yana. Good God, I got to get it, Yana. These are two attacks at you. Ooh. First one's a disadvantage. So the first one misses. Sure. Anyway. The second <laughs> one hits with a natural twenty. Yep. Uh, for sixteen, seven, yeah, sixteen points of damage. It's auto rolling damage, uh, and it does not engulf you. Uh, that's its turn. I am. Uh, when it doesn't attack me, I use Sentinel to attack it. Nice. Ooh. Forgot Jake is a Sentinel. So good. Hits twenty nine. Hits. Uh, did it just roll? Oh, tw- okay. I think it double rolled, right? It's just one oh, of that, those. Yeah, so nine points bludgeoning, and then uh, the, the swarm of bees buzzing around the end of my hammer do two points of piercing. Got it. <laughs> the bees, like, slamming into the plant thing. Uh, that was its turn. That was your reaction on its turn. Yana, you're up on nine. Uh, Yana's just like, "Hey, that hurt!" and then starts swinging like a like a bad person. Um, let's see, twenty one. Um, right, yeah, that hits. I assume. totally hits. Plus. Yeah, so it's eight plus your D four. Uh, ten. Once more with healing. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. So 2d4 uh, yeah. right here, plus whatever uh-huh. else you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I'll do the d4s first, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good uh, God, you guys blew my voice out in like four uh, like rounds of combat. <laughs> uh, All right, so that's the eight. And yeah, I'm going to Divine Smite, but I'll just do it at the first level, so only uh, 48 this time. Mm-hmm. Only. Only. <laughs> <laughs> Only. Uh, cool. Oh, <laughs> so that's going to be 23 plus 15 is going to be, uh, yeah, 38. Plus, this should only be 6 on the first of Mind Smites. Uh, yeah, this is a lot. 29. Uh, Yana, what does it look like as you <laughs> obliterate this, this mound that shambles? Uh, I- yeah, the sword hits it, and there's just, like, this flash and crack as this just, like, light bursts out from it and just, like, essentially disintegrates from the inside. It's the plant, like, burning up from, like, this radiant light inside of it. And um, with that, everything appears to have been dispatched. I think you hear Gump is still just, like, yelling throughout this whole fight, like... What's happening back there? This is a lot. Oh my god. Ah, it tickles so bad. I'm trying not to laugh, you guys. Well, I think we got him. Yeah. Could Ray do like one last perception check of everything on the. Sure, yeah. yeah. Can make in the sure back. I I think he yep you don't see any more of these horrific particular creatures that attacked you you know it's just kind of like this forest of like undergrowth and trees and I think he's like you got everything it's still pretty itchy back there oh uh, Jake I'm sorry that's me and he gets out of the wound <laughs> yeah. Um, I think you realize that like some of these plants are probably agitating him, but if you remove them all, he will have no oxygen and will definitely yeah. die floating through space. Yeah. Right. Unless he comes in our ship. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have enlarge reduce? <laughs> Um, That'd well, be a temporary situation to say the least, and yeah, then quickly and- become a permanent situation. <laughs> 
I do think I do think uh, uh, Reg will uh, cast press digitation first on himself, of course, in order to clean off the moth, of course. And then I do think he'll like. I mean, you know, we're talking a very small area here that he can he can press to digitate, but he'll just try and like tidy up the back as best he can in the most you know dirty places. Oh yeah, the landscaping, if you will. Would yeah. that clean the wound? What are you uh, going it, for? It, you probably can't. But... Yeah, is there like a medicine check or something we can do with this? Like, sure. What do you want to do? You're going to clean his wound? Yeah. Well, I was wondering if prestidigitation could clean a wound. It could, could it like clean, clean it on a very like surface topical level. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's oh. not a decontamination tool. Doc is too grossed out. She's got no idea what's going on. Doc, like, oh, takes a rag out and is, like, looking at this massive open sore that's, like, a like space big enough for you all to go into. It. <laughs> it's, like, puts the rag away. Like, yeah. uh, I got a 14 on medicine. I'm proficient in it, so. All right, what, what do we see helps. here, Yana? Like, how are you kind of, like, treating his back? <laughs> um, oh, boy. So, Yana uh, takes rope. And ties a part of it to uh, the sword, and essentially is just <laughs> using the sword <laughs> as a needle to stitch up the wound. Okay, okay. I think at this point he's like, "Oh, oh, it stings! Oh, those bees! I hate bees! I'm allergic!" Oh. It really help. The wound really shouldn't stay open like this. Really sorry. Trust me, it'll be for the better. Oh, it hurts so bad. <laughs> Doc throws up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Is it? Back. Would this be considered press, like a disease or one can? Con, no, it's not a condition, and he's not diseased. It's just growth on his back. What do you Is think he diseased? I mean, you can do whatever you want to try here, right? But well, I have lesser restoration. <laughs> Um, the paladin could cure disease. We Just see. Thing. Yeah. Oh, is, he too, is he too young to do that? Or no, the, I can. I can cure disease. So I can't remember what what level uh, he had to be. It's lay on hands, which I still have because I didn't use all of it. Um, hmm. Yeah. I, I, I. Yeah. Sure. Let's take a shot. See what happens. So after uh, stitching up the wound, I'll use the last of my lay on hands to throw ten in there, which. Uh, or whatever, the five, actually, because that cures disease, I believe. Let me double-check this. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to burn five points oh, yeah. to cure a disease. Yeah, so I burn five uh, to cure a disease. Or Oh, I can neutralize a poison? How did I not know? Th anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. So anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, I do that. <laughs> okay. So uh, you realize, like, those things probably did, like, infect the wound, and you're able to kind of, like, neutralize the last of the poisons, like, purge the infection as you sew the back up. Reginald, meanwhile, the professor casting prestidigitation, and I think, like, small, like, like dirt is, like, coming out of, like, the folds and, like, small areas at a time. A small, like, bush is being, like, unwrenched from the folds in his back, and he's like, oh... It does feel a lot better already. It hurts so bad. Do you have any memory of how this creature came to inhabit your back? Exactly? Creature? This creature's back there? No, I, 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 I apologize. This infection. I'm not sure. I just was chasing Slimy, and I ended up floating around out of here. It's been a long time. Every time I try to wave for its ship, they drive away so fast. You guys just crashed into me. Your pilot's pretty terrible. <laughs> Where? How oh, no. dare you? <laughs> I'm sorry. You ran right into my head. Where are you from? Me? Yeah. I uh, know the other person that's out here that we are upon. I was There's somebody the else back there? <laughs> oh, just goodness. all of us. Oh, Don't make five. sarcastic jokes to yeah. the. Our sarcastic I apologize. Jokes. Mockery is part of my upbringing. When you're making fun of me and I don't know, I don't know what these words <laughs> mean. I'm from our old. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find my way back. Um, any of you guys who are proficient in history could make a history check here. Sup? Here we go. 
Oh, eventually, uh, Yana, the haste does wear off and yep. you feel an experience of fatigue, but then you overcome it. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Maybe again one day I'll have to chase that high. I'm sure that won't cause some sort of addiction problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know that feeling. <laughs> I think, like, Rhea, you've heard of this place before, though you don't have, like, a great context for it. You've heard it talked about by the Furbolgs and, like, something to do with, like, old history. But it's got nothing to do with Clancy, so you didn't pay a lot of attention. But, um, Professor, you have studied many things. And I think that you're able to, like, recognize True. at this point that, like, uh, Gump here with the forest on his back is in fact a colossus, and there are there is supposedly uh, this colossus homeworld called Arhod, um, and it's kind of uh, like talked about in the context of like an Atlantis. Uh, it's very much like debated amongst intellectuals that you grew up about whether or not it's even real like a lot of people are like oh no it's a myth it doesn't exist it's not really out there um and he's just like i'm gonna find our road i think that's where i'm from i mean that's what they always said that's the ancient home world i believe in you you can find your hood you just gotta look for it yeah i'm gonna I really wanted to find Slimy, but he was not a very good pet. I think he hated me. He always was biting and stabbing me on the face and hands. Yeah, you, usually when you have a pet that does that, it probably means the pet wants to be elsewhere. So, you know, keeping it confined like that is probably not the best approach. Well, that's but why sure you'll he, find a pet that's nice. That's why he ran away and I jumped off the planet, but... I've had a long time to think. Yeah, I was curious about that. How how long exactly have you been, you know, searching for Slimy? Well, I counted when I first got out here, and I got to ten days. And then in ten days again, and at least one more time, and I lost track. I don't, I'm not sure, but it's been a long time. Have you eaten food in that time? No, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Losses are known to have quite magnificent constitutions. They can go long periods of time without eating, but that nevertheless makes them hungry. Are you guys done back there? It's kind of awkward talking while you're on my back. <laughs> yes, I believe it's time yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you bring your head oh, around. Okay, let's... here, here. I... You like I hate back. it when I'm getting massaged. The person's just like, yap, yap, yap. I'm just like, <laughs> Do you guys climb back in the hand? Yeah. 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 And so he like pulls you around in front of him and is like holding you kind of in front of his hand. And he's like, I feel so much better already. I don't even remember what it felt like to be this good. You guys are amazing. Can I clarify? So, you, are you from Arhod, or you're trying to go to Arhod, or both? Well, I'm not really sure. I mean, they said Arhod was our ancient homeland, and someday that we all would be there together again, but I don't know what exactly they called where I came from. I didn't pay attention to that kind of thing. So I figure it's the same place, and I'll find it. Okay. Maybe we can help you. That's great. Can I be honest with you guys? I Have never you been around to us this whole time? Hmm? <laughs> Nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I've never had a lot of friends, even... The other Colossus, they picked on me a lot. They said I was really smelly and dumb and short. and They were so short. mean. And that's why I found Slimy. He was my best friend and until he ran away. Rich is not going to stop until every single NPC I is on the ship. You it's guys are be my in, best friend no, I think in the whole tell world. Him behind the ship. Yeah. Mm hmm. No, yeah, been... John, yeah, no, for you sure. You guys are sure. probably yeah, my no. best friends from every world I've ever floated past. You're you're like my best friends in my whole life ever. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, we we should 
we should help him. Also, we are being <laughs> like uh, trailed. Um, I feel like uh, a giant colossus, like attached to a ship. Like I know it's space, but it pretty much gives us away immediately. But they also mm-hmm. might avoid us if we've got. They might also fight a guy with us. Would you? Do you fight? If if I may, technically, I believe he yeah, said yeah, yeah. that he was a small colossus. Uh, yeah, no, so no, really I, I don't sure. know how comfortable I feel putting someone of his state in a you know dangerous, violent situation. I got in a fight once, and they beat me up so bad, and they put my Should head in the outhouse. You guys uh, quite outhouses? the outhouse. At Big all? outhouse. Um, yeah. I mean, where do you just go out in the woods? I mean, I've been holding it since I've left. <laughs> I'm looking I'm for a new you know, outhouse. I don't I know do what to do. To <laughs> well, well you, so- guys, you guys fight real good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've Listen. got an idea. Yeah. He, like, grabs the, like, sack off of his hip and, like, pulls it up like, hmm. It's, it's hard. I, I'll put you back on your ship here. And like he I like she would. Like breaks his hand down for you guys to get back on the deck of the ship. Uh-huh. Hop off. <laughs> so like at this point the ship is just like kind of sitting there. He's like all of it, you know. Um, and and you like as you land back on the deck of the ship, I think you look down into the cargo hold. <laughs> it's the bad man with the knives. Like, seems like you've got to have this. I'm gonna go finish the grapes. Um, and at this point, yeah, Gumpus like got this bag. He's like, I've got this stuff in here. It's so tiny. I just found it floating around. I don't need it. Do you want this? Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, cool. great. Here, here. Sure. What, what and, is it? Yeah, taking it. Oh, we don't ask questions like that. You? No. I think he like empties uh. the sack and dumps it out on the deck of the dragonfly and like sprawling out of it or like a, a whole array of things. There's a bunch of old bones that seem like gnawed on a couple of like big fat rocks. Um, mm. There's a scale that looks like uh, maybe like, like about this big. It's pretty large. Um, that's like this red kind of shining scale. Uh, there's a decaying rotted cow and he's like, oh, wow, I didn't even know that was in there. He picks the cow up like, I'll take this. Wait, what, 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 like uh, swallows he's the hungry, he's, cow. God, he's so hungry. I had no idea I still had that. You see the mast, the figurehead, like a, a mermaid off of like a ship. Like it's, it's, it's big. It's bigger than like Reggie or like Ray is. It's very big. Um and then there's like a, a wooden box. It's like a small kind of like chest, very small, maybe like a little bigger than like a shoe box and um, a sword. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just want to open the box. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Go for it. A sword, you say? <laughs> yeah. There's like a sword, like a naked sword uh, that's like not in a scabbard or anything like that. That's like clattered and it's just kind of like laying in the deck amidst the bones. Yeah. Can I check that out? Yeah, sure. Um, it's a little like longer than what you're accustomed to, Ren. But like, you mm-hmm. pick it up, and it's got like a sapphire in the hilt, and like these curving kind of like quillions that um, they look legit like dragon wings. And as like you're looking at it, you're like, oh wow! Like the cross piece itself is almost like the the face of like a dragon, like as though it's got the wings like reared up next to it, and then the like hilt is like the tail curling around with the sapphire on the tip of it um, uh, yeah uh, if nobody has any objections I would love to keep this reminds me a bit of home with the dragon and all yeah you should definitely keep it I used it as a toothpick I mean it's so small <laughs> definitely gonna wash it first I suppose <laughs> oh, you can do that uh, Ray you've like grabbed up the box Okay, I think as you flip it open, you see inside are uh, 33 platinum pieces. Oh, snap. Good God. Yeah, as well as um, a big, like, heavy gold bracelet that has uh, a face on it 
it's like a woman's face. It looks like very pretty. The hair kind of like curling around makes the actual band for the bracelet. Um, and a big like, yeah. fat golden ring and a, a like metal tube. Metal tube. Mm-hmm. Well, I give the platinum to Jake to store and I give everything else to Reggie to identify. Uh, excuse me. You also have identify? Yes. I give half of the things. <laughs> I, do think, and... I do think I do think Rhea like heads over to Reggie and like and Reginald is just like that's a lot of work. <laughs> I think I like give them all I'm like handing them all to you and then Doc is like <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> and I'll just take these and I'm like go and give them to the Doc. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> I, I think Doc is going to be like, we'll split it with you. We'll figure it out. Uh, but I, I'm sure something could be arranged, yes. Uh, there was something else. There was something at the beginning that was red. A scale? Is that a what scale. it was? Yeah. yeah. Yes. We'll grab that. Grab all, I mean, the things, but most all of it. All of it. You guys can take all it. that stuff, to be honest with you. I didn't know the cow was in there. That was. You can keep the cow. You want the bones? Hmm? Should, you want the bones? No, no, the we rocks? can get rid really of those. The rocks. The oh, rocks I want those I bad rocks. They oh. probably look pretty cool. <laughs> you want <Yeah>. the rocks? <laughs> mm, you could keep them if you want them. I need at least one. Oh, take it. Okay. I understand. Um, <laughs> you like I rocks? Do. I do. Yeah, there's. Uh, yes, I, I used to skip rocks when I was a small child. Yes, me too. I understand. Yes. You find one that's nice and flat and can skim along the surface. It's a delightful exercise. One which we've not had the good fortune of doing in quite some time. Although we did I just come from a water planet. I past a water planet a long time ago. <sighs> you should turn and go that way. It was so pretty and blue like a marble. Yeah, we, we can't go could... back there. Yeah, no. Um, not until really the revolution is done. Wall, isn't it? Um, <laughs> not until the revolution is done. <laughs> um, One must let it bake. Just let it bake for a while. One thing, I, I don't know if Ray says this. I mean, he's right there. I don't think she cares. But like, um, you know, I got this new thing that I could do. Not today, but in the future. I could just send Gump a message whenever we want, you know. I think it's pretty limited in terms of how many words I could send him, but I, you know, I could do that, and we could. I don't know how we we would meet up in space. Um, I don't know. What do, do we want to like, do? Move. Yeah. Can you show us? Like, do you like just fart through space, or how do you <laughs> propel yourself? No, he's been I don't <laughs> fart. <laughs> Who told you that? No, no, but uh, hey, no judgment. I'm just saying, like, you need to propel yourself through space. I'm just curious how you do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. Okay. Because yeah. maybe we could, like, you know... I think he, like, reaches out this figure and, like, pokes the ship, like, I just I don't want to back in it. The ship starts, like, floating away a little bit. And he's like, like this! And he's, like, <laughs> he just off. swims? Not, yeah, like, that's exactly what I yeah, thought. Yeah, he's, like, totally, like, amazing. not moving, though. He's just floating along. Like, he's, like, oh, my God. He's just floating? <laughs> okay, so swimming? maybe you should try farting, I think it will be like more kicking, successful. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to like, kick your legs. Uh, honestly, I was... Of means by which I we was could going grapple. a lot faster like, when I first jumped, and I've just been slowing down this whole time. Did it? What about that orb that we used earlier that in, mm. where I'm from, but maybe it knows where this R holds place is? Mm-hmm. I hesitate to say this, Yana, but that feels like the least of our problems. We, even if we determined where we are going, uh, how on earth are we going to move such a colossal uh, friend? What about like a really big rope? You have one? I'm all out. <laughs> yeah, I did have to use mine to stitch him up. Yeah. So this is a dilemma. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't need. It. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Uh, I'm not sure the. 
No, I mean, I've been out here for a long time already. This is like a great new thing, and my back feels so good. I could swim for days like that. Maybe, <laughs> just look at, looking at this for a moment and then just turning back, is like, maybe if we could take them to another planet, like, drag them along, leave them on the planet, once we find out where our hold is, tell, then tell him and then get him yeah. another ride. We could take him to, I mean, I know we said we wanted to go to um, uh, the, the spiral, the, uh, but it seems like we could maybe take him to Oria and keep him there. And then they take him like we just kind of like bump him along with the ship or something. Don't know, but you are an inventor, (laughs) (laughs) and you're very very smart. Uh, I am very smart. You came up with the, you came up with the big, uh, with the big rope plan. That's I just (laughs) the big rope plan. (laughs) You are insanely smart, Doc. You are so so smart. Um, so, why don't you go ahead and make an intelligence check? Twenty. <laughs> okay. Okay. You got a couple theories here <laughs> of, we're, of we're like viable options. ideas here. Yeah, yeah. You think to yourself, like maybe you could drag him, um, though clearly, like somehow he was like stopping the ship, you know. Yeah. But you think that that's because like he wanted to stop the ship. You think maybe you could push him, you know. You could nudge him. He's weightless in space, theoretically. Uh, you could have Lux like carefully nudge, you know. Maybe you could take like the apparatus of Hux and have it like climb out on the front of the ship to act as like a sort of bumper. So you don't like crush the windshield. <laughs> exactly. I've been. I've been. He's like it's little crab arms, you know. Um, you think to yourself like, oh well, we could strip the bark from the trees on his back and weave rope from the <laughs> from the bark. I want to hear better ideas, Doc. <laughs> that is certainly a thing that has happened in the past. Um, then yeah, I don't know. Uh. It's all bad for the brainstorming. Also, there are no bad ideas in the brainstorming process. I would really appreciate it if you didn't, you know, it, trash the ideas. We're just, we're throwing out I everything we got it. here. I just said not one of your better ones. It feels like the Batman is a guy who will have rope on him, though. <laughs> yeah. He just feels like a guy who... I've got a battering people. ram. Oh, he has a battering ram. <laughs> oh, yeah. Should I hit him with the battering ram? ram? Like, oh, <laughs> the Don't you remember it? You had to carry it, cause actually, I'm not. Uh, yeah. I'm not that strong. I do carry it for you when you need yeah. it. Yeah, that's true. I've got yeah. rope too. None of you have rope. Poke him along as we like stand on the top. I, of the as ship. I understand the situation, <laughs> it does not require much momentum in order to once once he's headed Object in the. Object in re- motion. Uh, we'll uh, continue in motion until yeah. Now I must confess. The ability to do three-dimensional and time-based calculations in order to properly target him into a very small (laughs) astronomical body. (laughs) Likely well beyond my abilities. As well as, I'm sorry to say, almost all of ours, no? No, I could cast guidance on you like every six seconds. (laughs) Uh, And, you know, maybe if we work together out here and you know we just we nudge him and we adjust and then we nudge him again and we just i i have hope doc i think you have a revelation as you're talking and you look over at um your frenemy raya and you see on her finger a ring shaped like a whale and you're like (gasps) i have no idea how that's (laughs) so i think we can have two large things in space the you whale. could s- smash him yeah, yeah with is the whale. Is he going to take damage every like, time? Well, yeah, but you only have to smash him once real good, and he'll just keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. I, I like, you realize, Doc, he clearly, like, just fucking good. jumped off a planet with this tree branch and has been, like, hurtling through space ever since. Like, if you smash him to the professor's point, he's going to go where you point him. You know, so you may want to sit down with Lux and Ben 
and do some sophisticated trigonometry to determine which of these potentially deadly planets you want to shoot him towards. But you're pretty confident that this is a plan. And given that you are his new best friends in the world, you think that like a swift kick in the ass will probably be tolerable if you prep him for it. He'll forgive you. It is most certainly our plan. Yes. Well, like, I mean, the alternative is we leave him here floating in space where he will eventually run out of food and die. No, it's so, fine. I'm having a great you... time. Actually, sometimes I think he picks a piece of moss off. Like, I know I said I haven't eaten, but I mean. Don't. Please do <laughs> not. No. If you, sorry. Another new thing I learned. If you give me eight hours, I could make all the plant life on his back. Like, anno- like it would make so much food. So that's another plan. <laughs> right, but we're gonna growth on his back. at some point. You're not just gonna be here like feeding him all the time. We have to come oh, up no, with no. some option. If if you give me eight hours, I could make half a mile radius centered on a point become enriched for one year on his back. <laughs> <laughs> twice the normal amount of food what when you harvest it. It's called plant growth, and I just Clancy just taught me it. That sounds like a great idea. I yeah, just put I this plan in the talking pot. And it's awesome, you guys. So, like, if I'll give somebody else the ring, I'll stand on his back. You give me eight hours. <laughs> I'll make all the plan life, and then we'll just shoot him in the direction exactly towards uh, Oh, yeah, It's a perfect plan. Great. What oh, could go wrong? Of, what could yeah, go wrong? I, I will confess, I was raised on solving problems where there was a clear, precise, correct solution. <laughs> This does not appear to be one of those problems, in which case I am on board with anything you all should find acceptable. Is this where Such we as growing plants shift into montage mode and we watch <laughs> yep. for the next eight hours as the dragonfly like circles around old Gump and he's having a grand old time. He's smiling with his giant yellow teeth, you know. He's picking things out of his out of his orifices and his wrinkles eating them. Like uh, he's horrible God. and disgusting. But he's really sweet and he really loves you guys. And Rhea uh is able to perform a powerful miracle of Clancy. What spell exactly are you casting? It's, it's plant growth. You want me yeah, to pop it, it in is. the chat? Yeah, please. And <laughs> so Freya proceeds to spend eight hours walking around old Gump's back. Praying. Just because you need the long rest, right? Just just planting seeds. No, I can't long rest while I'm doing this. I'm, oh. I'm doing this for eight hours. You're doing this for she's eight hours? She's casting oh, for eight hours, resting. yeah. She's channeling vitality into the plants, and slowly, like, the bushes get larger and start growing, like, strange space bananas and citrus fruits, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> pineapples like, I, I had the, and melons. I, like, saw that this was my new, like, a new spell that I get from the nature, to me, and I was like, it's going to be so rare to, like, find a situation where I'm going to, like, fill <laughs> like, 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 a the field. Game. <laughs> with like you know luxurious like harvest food no found um, this colossus yeah gump. you proceed yeah. to make the plant life on grump uh gump flourish like it never has before it is fruiting there are berry bushes coming over his shoulders he's like eating freaking melons a handful at a time this is really amazing oh, what did you say there... the turtle was are there grapes yeah uh clancy this is all the gift from clancy i'll never forget clancy i'll tell everyone i meet about my best friend ray and i'll give you some pamphlets buddy you don't worry about that yeah actually i would prefer that you don't explain it and you actually just give out the pamphlets okay yeah i won't Uh, even say his name reginald will will ritual cast unseen servant and take an hour with the unseen servant to replicate an oversized version of the clancy pamphlet so that gump <laughs> should he be able to read can actually read. there's no way he can read right? wait does he i uh, guess he probably can read <laughs> but he has it he, he has, has it. it and that's what matters what do colossuses normally speak or read oh giant 
Because I speak Giants, we could translate that old pamphlet into Giants. For sure. You translate it into Giants. It's like the moment the unseen servant's like writing the pamphlet out in Giant, you know what I mean? Um, and so I think that, um, yeah, do, so like the, like we watch Reyes perform this miracle. The professor's unseen servant is crafting this Giant thing. Uh, you know, like we're seeing like Lux and Doc and old Ben kind of circled around like the paper doing trigonometry. I think the badman is like sitting at a table with sharp jumper with the bowl of grapes and they're just kind of staring at each other like <laughs> you know <laughs> you know, it's like a strange unfamiliar voice coming from the cockpit as the plant just yammers on talking to itself and um, <laughs> and so like with that you present the pamphlet to gump he's like this is amazing i love the picture on the front yeah okay yeah, great. I'm going to just put it in my sack, but I'll look oh, at it every day until I can spell every word. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys are really my best friends I've ever known. I can't thank you enough. I'll remember you every day. We'll uh, send you some. We'll 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 be in touch. You very well. Yeah. Great. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm what gonna go it, now. Is he just like we're not at the planet, right? We're just like sending him off to the planet. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Amazing. He's like, okay, bye, you guys. Using bye. a whale to kick him towards the planet. So he I think uh, Reginald will, uh, yeah, just wave him, wave him off, wave him off. Bye, bye. It's one of those things where, like, he keeps saying, but he's not gone anywhere yet. He keeps like turning around. <laughs> it's so like Raya, you like brace yourself with the ring, like, okay. And this enormous, like, spectral space whale, uh, like, emerges out of, like, the ring, projecting forward, slamming right into Gump's ass. And he's like, oh, I'm so fast. I'm the fastest swimmer in all the stars. And as you watch his little arms pumping as he, like, gets smaller and smaller and smaller dwindling in the blackness and the dragonfly begins moving again. I think that's where we leave our adventures today. Oh, very so, nice. Okay. Pretty typical episode. That sounded season. pretty typical. <laughs> <laughs> it yep. seemed pretty typical. It seemed pretty typical. Kevin, how are right. you feeling now? Are you still up for that? <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think also, like, as that happens and, like, he's going away, I could just imagine Yana just, like, waving and then pausing and then turning to... Like Reginald just be like, do you have a ring that shoots giant space whales? <laughs> do you want it? You it. Is need... that what you need from the Goodwill store? <laughs> <laughs> have you just been looking for a spectral whale ring? Because you should have just asked. It's what I've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, awesome, you guys. That was a lot of fun. I hope that one was a good one. Great. Uh, yeah. I've been, like, thinking about this one for a while. We talked about it at the beginning about, like, whimsy, and I was like, this feels pretty whimsical, right? (laughs) Yeah. 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 Missed opportunity also of saying swim, gump, swim. I don't know. I almost, I know. We were right there. We were right there. Um, And he has a forest on his back. And he's got a forest. Oh, I was waiting for it. (laughs) (laughs) I was waiting for you guys to realize he's got a forest on his back to save his gump. But so. Oh, yeah. The the moment that you said gump and then you're like, there's a forest growing. I'm like, God damn it. (laughs) (laughs) I can't take full credit for all of this. Like, uh, Melissa's busted my chops about the shambling mound. But, like, it's very funny. I, like, do a lot of like designing stuff for this game that's part of the fun for me of like running all these games is getting to like design my own adventures but i run a lot of D and like i i like want stuff to be good i've been going back through a lot of the spell jammer books and the planescape books and i've got one it's fantastic it's literally called space layers uh and it's an old <laughs> spell jammer book from the 90s and so like this is like an extrapolation of an adventure out of there of like old gump and so the naming convention 
intervention I cannot take responsibility for. There are many other Spelljammer adventurers who have probably picked plants off Gump's back alongs the years of these last, like, three decades. But to that point, like, I did convert a bunch of monsters. You know, I built out the barnacles and, like, the thorn throwers. And then there was, like, one big plant type thing that I'm like, I could, like, convert this. But it's a shambling mound. And part of the fun here is getting to, like, throw stuff that you guys know back at you. And you're like, oh, God. It's even more scary. There's, like, those two things in D&D of, like, I have no idea what this is. And I am terrified. And, like, I know exactly, exactly what this is. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm terrified. terrified. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, to play with both of that is, like, a treat. But I hope you guys had fun. though. I really enjoyed tonight. Uh, Forrest Gump is one of my favorite films. So, yes, very much so. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cool. Well, uh, you guys are Gump's, like, absolute new best friends in all the world now. All, all the world's plural. Yeah, literally, all the Literally, anytime I have a spare spe- sending at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. It's Gump. It's Gump. Gump. It's Gump. What's in um, his hair? Brum, 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 cool. Brum. Oh, my gosh. Cool. That it's incredible. Fun, you guys. I will also say, after all of that, I realized... I have the spell levitate. I just didn't have it prepared. It would have been so good. Oh. It does not have a size limitation. It would have been so good. So yeah, maybe by the morning, if, if Reggie had slept, he would have added just a little bit more oomph to. Uh, you have eight hours. I yeah. yeah. You, you were making yeah. the pan- you made the unt- that was just an hour. So yeah, yeah. that's true. Uh, very fun. Very fun. Yes. Um, well, oh. that was a really good time. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We'll go over the items and stuff during the week here. I'll give you guys the heads up of them being identified. I'm adding them to the loot list. Let me make sure I didn't forget anything. How many platinum did I say? 53 I rolled, 33. right? 33. Oh, 33. Wait, 53. Totally 53. Wait, 53. Yeah. 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 Why yeah. Did we yeah, no. Come on, you got a plant that grows rubies. Uh, <laughs> got it. I think I got most of it. I'll double check this. Uh, I had scales, mermaids, uh, a bow. Oh, the, uh, the ship mast, yeah. The right, we have the sword, the gold bracelet with the face on it, golden ring, and a metal tube. Mm -hmm. That rocks. You said the sword is bigger or longer than the sword I have, but it's still one handed, right? It's a long sword, yeah. It'll operate as a long sword. It's more of a bastard sword, but yeah. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, is it a bastard sword? Because that'd be cool. (laughs) I'm imagining like the Jon Snow style episode of the wolf, and it's like the dragon on the hilt and everything. Uh, I'm a nerd. (laughs) <laughs> yeah welcome to the, rest the of right here place yeah. yeah where we play D in space uh cool well this was a lot of fun uh this what does everybody have going on this week who do we start with who are we supposed to talk to uh how about you kevin you're a busy man you do a lot of stuff <laughs> our boy nate crawler was here talking about the ya podcast so what That's do you got going right. on this week the ya podcast that i do wait right here with melissa woodward uh where every week we are covering young adult fiction franchises um, we are currently in the midst of The Hunger Games, which is really exciting to revisit. Uh, we just did Catching Fire. Um, this is mainly for patrons of the Post Show Recaps. Uh, so if you go patreon.com slash post show recaps, you can sign up. However, the first episode of The Hunger Games is available to everyone everywhere. So you can check that out. Um, we're about to head into Mockingjay, the final two movies. Yeah. And it's my first time actually watching these movies. So this is, a, this is an experience for me. Um, beyond that, you can check out Everything is Super um, on Post Show Recaps, open to everyone, where Josh Wiggler and I cover all the superhero stuff. We are currently doing the Marvel series uh, What If? And we're going to also be talking about Shang-Chi, which we just both watched this past weekend. So you can check your feeds for that. Uh, other than that, uh, check me out at, uh, at Kevin Mahade on twitter uh you can find me here uh on when i play uh on dragonfly you can also check me out on sundays on this very channel where we do kings of neon uh whenever i am available for that as well i think that's um, it that might be it <laughs> awesome that's probably about it that's a lot of good stuff melissa his co-host what's up with you you got anything else you want to layer on top there no nah, kevin stole my plug follow me on twitter <laughs> 28 okay <laughs> hmm uh, you should, you should, you should do that. Um, how about you, Grace? What do you got going on? Um, I'm on Twitter at hi from Grace. Um, hold up a podcast where you watch LGBTQ media from the past and see if it holds up. We've been at a little, a little bit of a hiatus, but we're going to come back. I think we're going to talk about, um, season one of survivor cause survivor is coming back. Ooh, we're talking about rich wow. and Rudy. 
That's mm. what we're going to talk yeah. about. Okay. Uh, so that should be fun. Um, uh, this has been out for a little bit, but the movie review, part, I think it's under the Post Show Recaps Theater banner I did with Ariel uh, Gomez. It's been really fun. We did a um, July movie review, but an August one is coming soon um, to your podcast feed. I also started a James Bond podcast, which is not something I thought would happen in 2021, but the new movie comes out. I've never se- I had never seen any James Bond. Jessica Lee's loves James Bond. So we're doing, we're kind of stealing community building shtick where <laughs> Jess has seen it's it. It's a great shtick. I haven't seen it. We're going to watch, we're going to watch a, um, uh, we watch a Sean Connery. Uh, we watch Goldfinger. We're going to watch uh, Roger Moore. Oh. And then we're going to watch either a Brosnan or a Craig. And then we're going to watch the new movie that comes out um, soon. Either Brosnan or Craig. That's yeah, you it. Gotta do yeah. Like, they're doing what? one. And I'm going to stump so, so hard because for Goldfinger. Because we only have time for three pod. We only have three pod. We only have time for three before you the new movie comes out. You only have time for so many podcasts. <laughs> I know. I know, but then and then eventually we'll go back probably and watch. I think you need to do the Robin and Akiva thing and just go half and half, you know, just uh, <laughs> watch that three X. Oh my god! I love I love I mean, go, uh, Goldfinger was so fun. Uh, did, uh, did you, who knew James Bond is really fun? Hot take. From yeah, <laughs> go figure. <laughs> go figure. Uh, um, yeah, and I got some other stuff that's in the works. So I might be traveling to the nineties uh, soon, and uh, maybe it taught me some stuff. So that should be fun. And I think. Something that I know somebody on on this episode of Dragonfly is in. I think I'm going to be covering uh, a little YouTube uh, show uh, coming out shortly. So yeah, a little tease, a little tease. It's also wow. Survivor related. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. A YouTube show that's Survivor related. Yeah. Wow. Wow. All the clues like... I'm giving you, but I, I feel like people guess. I, I, yeah, I feel, I feel like, like we got it. Yeah, I'm digging hard. I might, 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 I so delighted to have you here and watching uh, the end of our show. If you're still watching at this point, then you enjoy spending time with us. Uh, yeah, so you guys maybe, yeah. you know, consider uh, joining the post show recaps uh, server and coming playing D and D with us. I'm currently running a text based D and D adventure uh, where people are trapped in a mind palace of a, of a long well, I'm not going to say much more. Because, yeah, you shouldn't. Uh, I'm in the adventure. Because Rich is playing. One of the people is here, but it's very fun. It's it's very fun. Uh, they're in suspended animation at the moment right now. Someone just jumped off a cliff. And I said, mm, sorry, I got to come play D&D. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, I did, about a year ago, participate in a little uh, a social strategy game called the Black Widow Brigade. Uh, so I know, right? Spoilers. Uh, if you uh, go search on YouTube, Black Widow Brigade, uh, well, you'll probably find it eventually. Or you could go on my uh, my t- my Twitter account, yeah, at DJ Lebel Klein. Long story if you don't know what that's about. But um, yeah, I played. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's fascinating. Alex put in a lot of work editing it. And I got to tell you, as someone who played in the game, now watching it again, it's a totally different story. It's just oh, like it is, it is right. immediately. It's like fascinating the stuff that I didn't get to see, right? So now I get to see it. Um, so I got, and then, oh, go 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 ahead, Bish. Well, I'm just saying I got like sucked right in. Like there are a bunch of uh, our friends are in it, and it was very like, oh, okay, let me like scope it out. And I was so immediately like incensed and angry and charged. I was like, well, at least they got me. Like I really care now. <laughs> I am like it's, it's deeply invested, so it's very set. clever. It takes a yeah. little time to get used to, but once you do, you just you, you enjoy the ride. So uh, do that and, uh, you know, uh, be kind to one another. Do the mask and the vas- va- vax thing if you can, uh, because that's really important. It is. I agree. Um, Kurt, how about you, my friend? Uh, you who are here for all the things that we do here. What do you got going on, man? Well, since I don't create anything, I guess I have to plug thing created things that I enjoy. You um, should. Just finished reading Final Girl Support Group um, by Grady Hendricks. That was a lot of fun. Um, I just finished watching Alice in Borderland on Netflix. Love. I saw you talking I about it the other that day. Was that really good. good. Huh? It, it was like Japanese series, Hunger Games with a little bit of Saw DNA, maybe a little cabin in the woods. Um but it's like, like I watched the first episode. I'm like, yeah, okay, this was like bread from my DNA, just in terms of things that would turn me on. So, um, 
highly recommend trying it. Alice in Borderland on Netflix. I'm going to. I will keep it noted. Kurt also, uh, Loki does some streaming. You'll see him like pop on with video games here and there, and it's really a lot of fun. Uh, he, we like host him here, but go follow him on Twitch, uh, Twitch TV slash Kurt Clark. Kurt Clark. You're really good with the branding, man. I got to give it to you. Yeah. Well, thank my parents for giving me that overly common name. It's really <laughs> strong pick. I like it. The alliteration, um, big admiration here. Anyway, yeah, I'm Rich Filiberto. I'm DM Philly. I'm here. I'm doing all the stuff. We'll be back on Sunday uh, with our friends at Sabotage the DM. We're doing a Rebel DM panel this Sunday at 2 p.m. And then at 6 p.m. on Sunday, we'll be back with Kings of Neon, um, where we have a ton of fun and we play with weird gods and monsters in a sprawling neon noir urban metropolis. And it's weird. And really fun. Um, so, yeah, give me a follow. Do whatever you can. I thank you to everybody who's hung out tonight. Um, like you guys make it so that I can keep doing this stuff. And I deeply, deeply appreciate it. And that is it, basically. Uh, we're going to go raid somebody that I have just looked up while you all were talking here. Kira858, they're on their first episode of Season 2, The Rivenwood Academy. I have no idea what we're about to walk into. But um, I'm all about like kind of sharing love with the small content creators these days. It's like a little thing that I can do, so I'm going to do it. So we're going to send you all there. And I thank you to all my players for hanging out tonight and having such a good time. It's been awesome. Put that in the chat, maybe, so for folks to... I'm going to raid them. We'll be there in a second. Well, I'm taking you there now. Bye. Oh, no, it didn't work. Oh, God. This is so awkward. We say goodbye already. Ah! Okay, uh. I'm just going to shut up.